Hello and welcome to the Stream of Chaos. My name is Dave and I will be your Keeper of Arcane Lore for this session of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, today we are continuing our playthrough of uh, Regency Cthulhu and you can get your own copy of this uh, campaign setting guide uh, over at chaosium.com. Uh, you can find all of our VODs collected over on the Chaosium YouTube channel and if you are watching there you can find us live on Twitch each Friday at 4pm Pacific. Uh, I want to say thank you to Roll20 and Sirenscape for being tools which we use to improve our game. And without further ado, let's return to Tarryford and our investigators who are looking into a strange sleeping sickness that has begun to infect a town. Uh, last session, uh, they had a chance to speak with Dr. Parsons and his wife, as well as interview, well, not interview, uh, help to treat with two of the sleeping, uh, possessed, sleeping... Infected, I'm not really sure. Uh, one of which it's has weird. woken and the other of which has perished. Uh, elsewhere, two of our investigators went to the local uh, Four Feathers Tavern uh, where they interviewed Alice Copeland, who was the wife of the first person to fall asleep and never wake. Uh, now past, they uh, uncovered some strange doings that may be coming from the cellar and then stepped back out into the now settling evening where we will resume our story. I'll do a quick little hurdle around and introduce all our investigators and then return to the session. Uh, let's begin with Art. Hi, I'm Art. Um, I have questions about why the Keeper doesn't know whether these people are infected or else, because I feel like that's a thing that they should probably know. So. Uh, I'm sure it's written in the scenario somewhere. <laughs> I'm staying one have... section ahead of oh, where quite. we get to. Hey, look, if, if I can take anything from a terrible boss I had back in the day, his advice was, you only need to know slightly more than the person that you're talking to. And I yeah. was like, that's terrible <laughs> <Awful>. advice. <laughs> yeah, don't. Excellent mm. DMing advice, though. <laughs> mm, yeah, very good DMing advice. Yeah. Anyway, hi, I'm Art. Um, I am playing Reverend Samuel Jennings, uh, resident god botherer. Yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Whether it is the, the biblical kind or the elder god kind, it just bothers all the types of gods. Yeah. That's he's he's used to bothering the, the, the Christian kind and is skilling up to bother the, the rest of them. Yeah, get in there. Make the make sure they earn their dollars. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh and let's go across to Jackson. I'm unmuted. Hey, I'm Jackson, <laughs> and I'm playing Miss Jane Radcliffe, as far as everyone knows, a new socialite to town who was infected with the sleeping sickness and would like to know if she's going to die. Um, that's important, just to figure out what exactly this thing that she had was and whether there are any long-term consequences. Uh, but also make sure that nothing goes horribly wrong in the next two days with regard to any heists <laughs> or kidnappings that may be about to befall her generous host. <laughs> I'm trying to be coy again and failing. I need to write this in advance. Watch the first two episodes if you yeah. don't know. Jeez. That's right. It is a busy man. Leave him be. All right, let's That's go. Right. Across. Speaking of being kidnapped, let's go across to James. Oh, great. That's a fantastic. That's a fantastic bridge. Yes, I, I, I am James. I am uh, playing George Potterton, a young, eligible bachelor, Ooh. hopefully not kidnapping victim, and uh, I, I head over heels in love with uh, Jane Radcliffe, as far as he's aware, <laughs> uh, and looking no deeper into it. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think that, that, that about sums things up. It does up. it, yeah, I, that's right. Please I, don't kidnap I, me. Do fall in love with me. I'm doing my best. Try to be a missus investigator bio. like Captain Stone, who died, hopefully not going to die, but we'll see. I'm hearing a lot of no's, James, a lot of things you don't want, a lot of things you do want. I, I haven't manifested recently. You know, <laughs> right. I, I, need a, I need a vision board. Well, you work on that. We'll go across to Alex. Muted. Oi. Huh. My button on my Steam Deck uh, is a little bit... Uh, it doesn't really change whether I'm muted or not. <laughs> Fix that one next time. Uh, I'm Alex, and I'm playing Miss Emma Wentworth, uh, the <sighs> now eldest sister of the Wentworth family after my 
previously, the eldest sister was um, made into paste by yeah. an eldritch entity. Um, Rip. Things aren't all doom and gloom, though, because I am engaged now to the dear reverend, um, and I've got a shotgun, and I'm pretty good at it, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get vengeance of some kind on the eldritch entities and uh, protect the town in the process from all of the terrible things that I am now chronically aware are out there. Yeah, someone's got to. Someone's got to step up and take charge. And uh... I, lo I love the, the, the vengeance. Um for anyone who has watched Vengeance. the like previous one we did of this and Vengeance. my ability to quote bible verses it's because i have a google tab open with something that lets me search by keyword and you better believe i just searched retribution today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> i have a tab open it's just looking at cat videos on the other screen <laughs> is that just your brain yeah thing? occasionally i pull open the scenario yeah, it's just... great <laughs> that's a good system um fantastic so as we return to tarryford this is still the first day of the investigation the morning began uh feels like some time ago and you had a chance to come into town and conduct your affairs it is now getting into evening supper time you'd be looking to you know return home organize dinner or look elsewhere uh mr potterton and miss radcliffe have just departed the house of uh maggie and john pilling and reverend jennings and miss wentworth have just stepped out of the four feathers Hub. Uh, you are both still within Tarryford. You can meet up if you wish, or you can go your separate ways. I'll pass it across to the party to decide what they want to do from here. Forgive me, we were going to go and see... Is it Havering? Um, uh -huh. Tomorrow morning? That's in the morning, <laughs> that's right. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. I think the plan for myself and... and... The, only other, sorry, and the only thing I'll say is, is you know that Dr. Parsons is paying to look into the bodies tonight of now two of the perished mm. sleepers, uh, Garrett Copeland and John Pilling. Um, Ooh. I know that we originally had spoken about, by we I mean um, uh, myself and my fiancé, uh, had spoken about potentially calling upon the North Lakes to get an idea of, like, who these very close siblings are mm -hmm. um mm. the the cousins of of what have you and maybe see if we can get a hold of the family tree stuff yep um yeah whether or not and also to invite them to dinner it's i will say it's probably drawing a little late for by the time you mm. arrived there now you'd be getting towards dinner time supper time there uh, yeah. It could be done. It would just be a little. There's etiquette at stake here. The mm. the default would probably be go tomorrow morning, probably after the, the haverings would be the safest yeah. timing for mm. it. But there's nothing stopping you attempting it now. I mean, we can always just at least like send a send a, a note. I yeah. think I think an evening note is 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 appropriate just, at this you point. Know, a welcome to the neighbourhood, and we yeah. we intend to call tomorrow morning if that is not an inconvenience. Mm. You know, just like as a hey, heads up, we're gonna come round. See Tell you us there. if you're so not, uh, as opposed to you know, just rocking up and being like, hi, anyone home? Which is always terrifying when that happens. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Although they can see us coming. Yeah. The big house probably can. Big house. I don't know if they the windows, open shields. Mm. They can hide if they really need to. <laughs> and a mausoleum. And a mausoleum. Full of stuff. Nothing, nothing short untoward in it whatsoever. A regular <laughs> string of <laughs> oh Ooh, your corridor. Um, a tree in a pear tree. I gen yeah, I think if it's too late to call on, then I would either consider hanging around for the Yeah, you want to watch an autopsy? Want to watch an autopsy? Not particularly, but I can't think of anything better to be getting on with, except maybe some research. So oh, and I think retire sure. for the evening, and yeah, maybe have a have a hunt through some books. Um. Yeah, look, I think perhaps maybe I will spend some dedicated time researching what the information I already have. Okay. Um, and get an idea of what happened at the autopsy from the doctor. Uh assuming that he is also taking the time well, to look for potentially weird shit occult stuff when he's doing well it. he may not be but if he's he's an observant doctor he's good at his job he takes pretty copious notes we've seen that and also we're seeing him first thing in the morning to go to go out to the haverings anyway yeah so no one eat we can always breakfast yeah we can always ask him and what what if there anything unusual showed up in the autopsy when we first see him first thing in the morning it's not like it's much of a delay Okay. And that way we don't have to potentially embarrass ourselves in front of the good doctor by puking everywhere. I'm vomiting. 
So as I'm saying, Reverend Jennings oh, yes. and Miss Wentworth will return to the uh, the church up in Bungford, uh, the Bungford Chapel, uh, to do a little research, send a letter to the North Upper Lakes. Tarryford, thank you. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I'm, I think the Reverend genuinely doesn't mind what it's called, so long as it makes whoever's there feel comfortable. So well, I do. <laughs> it's me, in that you? case, yes, it would be referred to as Upper Tarryford. Okay. Well, and Miss Wentworth is around, but if like one of the locals says Bungford, that that's what he will okay. refer to it as. Well, then they for will them. return. They will head south and downhill to Upper Tarryford, uh, where you can conduct some research, send out a request to uh, meet with the North Lakes, and then ultimately probably retire for the evening. As for Mr. Potterton and Miss Radcliffe, what are your intents, having only recently been ejected from Billings House? I think that uh, staying up over, like, and, and going to an autopsy is exactly the kind of mythos investigator nonsense that I, I, I idolise and that I would love to go to. But being in the company of uh, Miss Radcliffe, uh, possibly it's not the best idea. Also, mm. you know, but then, then again, I do like as a player, I, I would love to be wandering past uh, the rowdy uh, pub at and night and chances. see if I spot anything. <laughs> so I, I don't know, is there any um, any 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 vibes coming up for you, Miss Radcliffe, of uh, uh, the uh, place or other one? Well, given that I was just asked to leave, um, I think Miss Radcliffe will be uh, will, will be in a bit of a, a, a all a titter. Is that the uh, that the, is that the turn of phrase? <laughs> yeah, get it. Tizzy, I think, is what you're looking a tizzy? for. Tizzy, yeah, all a tizzy. Uh, and we'll say, oh well, that was um, my goodness, that was that was something. Uh, I, I should think it's been quite a long day. I, I might, um, I could make use of the carriage, Mister Potterton. I, I wouldn't mind retiring back to the estate, but I, I would not expect you to come with me. I, I think if you would like to. Um, attend the doctors uh, later tonight. I, I would, I would encourage you to do so. I, I think, uh, but perhaps my strength is still coming back to me, and uh, an early night might be good. Well, I'd, I'd be very happy to accompany you back, but and I'm saying very clearly, clearly wanting to go and do what I think is going to be the fun thing. Um, <laughs> it, uh, uh, Dave is just from like I, I, I don't want to pull pull aside a, a large solo like sort of segment. Is is this is I this go for right. it? Get out there! I do. Look, solo, solo. <laughs> live. Okay, I'm probably gonna get different... eaten. Um, yeah, I want to. Alex, you're case... muted. Uh, Meanwhile, in Upper Tarryford, dear. <laughs> Trust me, go have a solo adventure. We will, we will, just, oh, we will, we will uh, dedicate as much time rooms. to describing biscuits as the autopsy is the only thing I can promise. Excellent. Um, uh, at the at the top of um, when we get to the top of the town, then I like I I, I, I the, the horse the, the horses kind of know the way sort of thing. It's in a carriage. It's a very stable situation, and I, I like. I, I give you over our rather expensive carriage. I'm just like, ah, you'll be fine. And these two horses, I, I trust you implicitly. And then uh, stroll off into the night, kind of not thinking about how I'm going to get back as well, because it's not it's a super easy walk. But no, um, that's you, fair enough. You could enough. have you could have Miss Radcliffe deliver a message to your elder sister to basically have you sent for. You could just say, hey, I'm planning to be here through. I will remain through supper. Send a send a messenger at nightfall, and I will, you know. Brilliant. Well, worst yeah, I'll go back down and I'll then... stay at the tavern. <laughs> yeah, you got all sorts of options. Okay, fantastic. Exactly. All right. Well, then, uh, you uh, you do have some time to kill Mister Potterton because Doctor Parsons was remaining with Maggie for a for a time. Uh, what do you intend to do? Do you want to basically? I think actually, why don't we just have the four of you meet up briefly because the timing works for it. You can uh, go to gather your carriage, and then you will probably walk past the the tavern nearby or close enough that you can see the others departing. So I'll leave it the four of you and then you can all depart, but a chance to exchange information and, and set plans in order. Uh, and then you can all go your separate ways. I mean, I think the most important piece of information that I would want to pass on is that uh, two things. One, there's an open cellar. Yes. That seems that the timing somewhat coincides with like Attend, you know, people getting ill, so potentially some kind of strange miasma has been spilling forth, but uh, uh, not dissimilar to how it may have done so from the from the mausoleum. Uh, on that note, then to to, to put into that uh, theory, Dave, at the when I was leaving the um, the the last house that we were at, uh, I, I I didn't push a check to to 
follow through. Do I? You you described that my character had like a sense that there was something missing. You, Can you, I share you, that sense? You had you had noticed that there was. It genuinely wasn't particularly remarkable. You had noticed that there was a vacuum in the accounts. There was something that wasn't being factored in. It was not a significant thing. It genuinely just seemed like a regular expense, but it was just a little curious that it was dotted throughout, and it was just enough of a tickle for you to be like, ah, I, you know, weird. Okay. But you probably genuinely pushed it from your mind by now. It did not strike you as particularly significant. Uh, for sure. Okay. In which case, I'll, I'll I, I won't. I won't. Um, <clears throat> but I, I, that was that <clears throat> the fact that we found that and that uh, we were planning on sending uh, some men or a man to the the tavern at some point in the near future mm -hmm. to have a look at that. She um, genuinely needs the help, and also I want in that cellar. <laughs> and the other one was that we had a look at the guest book, which also included accounts, and I know that you are an accountant, um, Mr. Boston. I do, I do enjoy a good account. <laughs> um, so I think I would, I would mention to you that were there an opportunity to ask to, to see the, the, like, guest book from an accounting perspective um we i'd already made a somewhat of a pleasant impression on the person who ran the the establishment so mentioning that perhaps i had sent you if you had an opportunity to look through those if you were around this evening but otherwise like yeah i, I, I think if, it's more of a like at some point it might be behoove us to have you look at those because i couldn't really make it any kind of deep meaning from them no that 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 sounds sensible i might have a quick look this evening and if they're too complicated perhaps we can put our heads together and and, and crack through them as a group with a, a, the a bonus die granted by an assist ideally <laughs> um, but um i mean yeah. i doubt they will let us take the the accounts but like being able to come back and and just you know if if they say no or if like they push back on it then we can come back and do it together another day but yeah just just mentioning that specifically to you as the accountant um sure I think that was the big things from the what we found was the cellar and, and that aspect. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And I think I would mention to you just as like a, it's probably nothing. It probably isn't related, but there does uh, appear to be a gentleman who's been staying at the inn, the, the tavern for the last three months, who's provided the name Mr. Black. He does not seem to be a particularly interesting or noteworthy of investigation any further. Um, and i will describe him to you as a like if you do decide to go there just keep an eye out for him i'm sure it's nothing but you know he's he's been here for three months and he didn't seem to take particularly kindly to well-to-do people entering the establishment so watch watch your back essentially i, I see perhaps he's visiting family in tarryford are there any identifying familial features that could... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 describe no, no, no. the eyes at length <laughs> yeah so just giving him a heads up of the of the the shady character we saw mostly as a you're a wealthy man this guy didn't seem to <laughs> yeah be just be careful and also just the fact that he's been here over the last three months Again, probably unrelated, but we were talking about like people who had entered the town and brought something with them. So like that's a, a potential. Just, just to be clear, did, 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 do I recognize that that description from the yeah. reverend? You recognize that? Yeah, yeah. Th three of those things line up, Jackson. The description of the character, the name the character is staying under, and the time of arrival, which is bang oh, on when you arrived in Tariff. Yeah, yeah. But we <laughs> and it's possible. I actually oh, genuinely, yeah, yeah. Mr. Potterton, can you give me an intelligence roll? <laughs> <laughs> can i take a can i take a penalty die no. like gen genuinely I, do it do it do a flat one because it's not it's not a suspicious thing but it will be something of note i think yeah that sounds great okay um it's coming right up i'm sorry it's just going to take a, a second or two to load uh in the meantime let's consider yeah, vamp, George, Jim, uh, vamp. Martin, uh, what, what he's going to do if uh he does figure things out my money's on cry um <laughs> roll on the bout of cringe <laughs> okay you you would note that the date provided by Reverend Jennings for Mr. Black's arrival is bang on, Miss Radcliffe, like to the day that you 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 came across her. In sorry, probably not to the day moves, with, within 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 a few days. Well, it there's no there was no reason it should have ever crossed over. Mm. It is kind of notable. It would be like a, a thing that your brain went, oh, that's a weird coincidence. Yeah. He must have. He is. Uh, he's definitely a potential source of the infection. Is probably what this this is. You know, I mean, maybe maybe. Did you did you pass through Tarryford at any point on your way? You know, like, when when your carriage uh, 
was broken. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps he could have been the original source. I don't know whether he was just an innocent carrier or whether he's whether it is something more sinister. I don't know. Regardless, you yeah, I'll let. Do you share the the date stuff? Like you're like, oh, that's weird, or is that just something you keep? You're like, oh, that's weird, and you keep that to yourself. I <laughs> have displayed previously that I'm not particularly socially like 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 tactful necessarily <laughs> friendly but not not like probably own oversharer um so you would just say out loud just hey that it. was the day you got yeah here. I, I i probably do so without 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 even realizing it's also important. the other the other thing to add on was the kind of the way that miss jane radcliffe arrived was having been recently set upon by brigands that's right ah of yes course. i think i probably I don't know exactly how the scene played out, but I imagine I had to like walk into town. Yeah. Maybe I. Or you probably didn't town, go through town. I just you, showed up on the estate. You crossed over with Potterton, like as he was out on a ride. It was probably like one of his sisters or something that actually oh, met fantastic. you. That came upon you. You weren't with the carriage at that point, but you were by yourself, you know, and looking. Just out in the out in the road, out in the yeah. fields. You know what? Based on that, I probably do put together enough to suddenly decide it's the man who, who you know, attack, but and therefore do stay a little quiet for a second. Um, and I'll probably bring it up in the morning once we're in a position to address the situation more thoroughly. But um, yeah, for now, I think we've. And given now it. George has too many too many thoughts in his brain and has yet to decide. And must retire for yeah, the evening. Just... Book, or I'm going to have a panic attack. He needs to go to the pub. <laughs> too many words. Need the numbers. Give me the numbers. <laughs> if uh, the numbers have letters in them, panic. No algebra. Uh, Mr. Potterton and Miss Radcliffe, what do you share of the events that you saw at the home of the Pillings? I think everything. I'm happy to, to everyone to be on the same page when it comes to, you know, this illness I had. Yeah. I think the more information, the better, so will, I know I'm not going to die. And the unnatural means, I mean, yes. I guess the cause of John Pillings' death, which yes. seemed to be somewhat connected to your words. Probably probably highlight that a bit and say reverend Wait, i think just... um, your ideas about interpreting dreams may carry more water by the moment uh, if you want to pursue that even more it's, it seems that the dreams that this illness caused are <clears throat> very much related in a physiological sense hmm. interesting um just because it it i for me at least it, it cut out last time the man started laughing before he died is that yes. correct <clears throat> that's right um so something was unpleasant and sorry jackson just because i'm trying to make sure that i know what i know do you mention the the actual like wording that you used to bring her back as a like uh, as a, it, it was if, if i so were much, to I... ask as in character if i was to ask as a reverend like what was it that you were saying to her that brought her back yes. just in case well, we can use it, something like that to bring others back Yes, I, I would have provided you with um, kind of a full kind of record of my dreams, and I'll point out uh, I, I awoke when I when I went to this part of the forest and drank this uh, blue liquid from a pool, and that's that's what I told uh, told her to do, and it seemed to help. It's good to know, and yes, <clears throat> that is quite. Um, I'm I'm very sorry that uh, you you had to experience that, Miss Radcliffe. That would have been quite um. Quite confronting to see. Well, yes. Death but, uh, is is something we we all must face. Um, and as a local <clears throat> reverend, I, I I tend to see it a little more than than some. But it's it still. Do please seek me out if you need any counsel, Miss Radcliffe. I, I thank you. At, at any time, I, I, I my door is always open to you. I think as, I'm probably as... gonna throw Jane a a kind of sidelong smile and a shrug knowing that women of this time see experience are around plenty of you know blood and death and gore and it's just not something spoken of to men so just kind of a mm. this is this is this is him being very kind i, I know you're doing him best we know, we know but this is a kindness very good i'll take it i'll take any kindness i can get so from both the reverend and his fiance a bit of support <laughs> that's sweet. okay um with that then uh the four of you can separate uh reverend jennings and miss wentworth are returning to the upper tarryford chapel and miss radcliffe traveling back to the otterton state 
uh, while Mr. George Potterton remains in time for in town for a period to first try and study some of the accounting books and then join Dr. Parsons uh, to attend to the autopsies. Uh, so as the other three of you are traveling and the sun is beginning to draw a little lower, uh, Mr. Potterton, you make your way inside uh, the uh, Four Feathers pub and uh, see about the accounts. Uh, can I get you to make... So you'll be able to draw the attention of Alice Copeland eventually. She's very busy mm -hmm. and kind of throwing herself into work to distract from grief. They're in a short lull before they go into supper. It is quieter than it was at lunch, which is when a lot of the... Um, like the workers and laborers in the town come in at this point now most people head like home for personal meals and things and it's there's there's less people around you will uh mark the gentleman that reverend jennings drew your attention to this sinister figure in the back shrouded in shadow uh greasy parted hair a large scabrous mark crawling up the side of his chin and sort of glowering into the distance uh he marks your entrance will meet your eyes and not look away for a period until eventually blinking and look backing down to look back down to the heavy tankard on the table uh could you give me a i think like charm role or something similar to basically speak with alice get her attention explain the situation and ask to look into the accounts sure i do my best and I, I probably don't eyeball this guy very much i am trying to take the advice of like yeah not starting a, a, a confrontation at this point um success in the charm role okay um yeah reverend jennings mentioned that someone else might come by more tied to the investigation of the sellers but you're also a known figure in town and very much trusted lending your uh sort of weight into the situation would only be seen as a like gesture of goodwill uh and alice copeland will have uh one of the other uh, women that work there lead you into the back and procure the same accounts books that reverend jennings uh gave you uh quickly confirming the dates of mr black's arrival you do kind of possibly re-strengthen your own insight that this is the exact same day that miss radcliffe came to you um he mm. basically came to the pub uh that night began an account and, and and began staying there um on the same day that uh you took miss radcliffe in as you said I... could be remarked on as a coincidence could be drawn to connection to the uh, brigandry I think no, yeah, noted and registered. I don't think it's a coincidence anymore. I think what I have done though is that because you know, I refuse to cast any any suspicion on Miss Radcliffe, I, I am I'm now convinced that this is brigand that attacked her. Yeah. Um, uh, and in case you want to follow that up in a like legitimate, there is a constabulary in town. There are two men who work to like basically you know look into matters of this such, and if necessary, this would be taken to the local judge uh who previously was lord northlake him having now passed is mr asher uh who ah. is the other most sort of senior person in uh, town your father possibly had a conversation when this was all happening and it yeah. fell to him so you could go to the constabulary and kind of raise this as a concern says so something you might want to look into until he's actually done anything wrong it probably wouldn't go to the judge this would be distracting him too much but the constabulary could be alerted and, and to be asher is the gentleman who is very religiously very inclined. religiously yes, inclined yes. yeah okay. that's right uh you you um, would you would know him and his family quite well sure um i i for the morning i think still all the same um is it possible with my charm check just because you know they're serving people and i might not want me looking through accounts books can i ask to be in the back so yeah, yeah no no, no yeah you're, sorry you've you've, you've been yeah. brought back there and given the accounts you're sitting privately and have only confirmed the reverend james uh information so far from here Brilliant. you may make an accounts check of your own to begin to go over it and see if you can uncover any further secrets see if the luck holds <laughs> I spilled stuff on the accounts books. <laughs> Holy shit. Very nice. Uh, okay. Um, how, how often do we see a fumbled accounting roll? Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> devastating. <laughs> devastating information. Uh, yeah, I think in, in, in double checking things, you are going to overstep your stay here, try and draw conclusions, basically make a bit of a titch of yourself uh, in the face of uh miss copeland and the women that serve there and you will also be politely at one eventually asked to leave and not investigate any further uh can i ask you to lose a d3 actually on a, on a fumble it's gonna be a d6 of uh, a d4 i think let's settle in the middle you lose a d4 of reputation and be swiftly ejected from the space fair enough two rep down uh i i leave with my tail between my legs that's hilarious fantastic uh, back out into the now cooling evening. Uh, you all, you will remark though, as you step past it, that the cellar is still kept open, and you do notice sort of a cool draft coming from it. 
uh, as you step widely around it and back out into the night, unwilling to push the matters for fear of yep. awakening the uh, now widow's grief. Yep. One last thing very quickly. I, when I was in the uh, mausoleum last year at the North Lake Ball, I, I, I remember vividly the, the smells of the place and the yeah. smells of the strange creatures. As I'm walking by the cellar, can I just take a deep breath in and check if I pick up any strange scent on the wind? Yeah, um, I'd get you to make a... Uh, let's do a, do a spot hidden roll as you go past. I'm going to apply penalty Mel dice on hidden. this. Hidden smell. Yeah, it would Luckily, have been good on the first. second fumble, yeah. but no way, no. no. Uh, given you're kind of being rushed past, you don't have a, a chance to, to mess with it. It definitely... Uh, it's a little more similar than you'd be comfortable with. You are... you. Your mind falls back to that night. Your hackles rise a little bit, but you don't confirm anything, unfortunately. Uh, you are swiftly ejected and will need to sort of just mill around the space for a yep. time until eventually going to call on Dr. Parsons at a time that you think is appropriate. Um, all right, we will leave Mr. Potterton to uh, explore the beauties of uh, Tarryford and reconvene uh, with Reverend Jennings and Miss Wentworth, who now arrive back at the Upper Tarryford Chapel. Uh, night will fall in a little while. You have time for supper and then... An evening of light activities. Uh, some study would be more than appropriate. Sending a letter could be sent now, like you could draft it and then have a servant run it across. Uh, let me know what you'd like to do. I'll do the the letter, the um, note of, of intent to visit tomorrow. Perfect. Um, I will say late morning. Yeah, that I'm sounds not sure great. How long it will take to visit um, the Haverings? Um, do you? Are you looking for anything particular? Is this kind of phrased as a uh, Elizabeth mentioned that uh, you know they're basically going to open an invitation? We'd love to meet with the cousins. Yeah. Are, are you only looking to attend with Reverend Jennings and yourself? Do you want to try and negotiate this into anything else? And do you want to have at it at their point, property or yours? At this point, I think it's a, a drop in and visit at their property. Yep. We could also include, I think, for tomorrow. I think for tomorrow morning, drop in and visit at their property and suggest a a. In the same note, suggest a dinner. Sometimes, so. along with uh, yeah, 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 and we could even we could even suggest it for the same day. We could even suggest it for tomorrow yep. to keep things moving, um, because there is nothing stopping us from meeting them and then all coming oh. back to to Upper Tarifer, to the to the chapel. Absolutely. So I think it'll be it'll include both, but it'll give them the the option of if that doesn't suit another time. Would be no. wonderful, but the 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 purpose of it is we'll drop in tomorrow, um, and we would love for you to attend a uh, a dinner with us. Sounds perfect. A dinner would Hopefully definitely you would you would regularly augment this with other parties to to join as guests. You yes. could extend this invitation, and you don't need to specify this in the thing. Uh, once yeah. accepted, you could extend this to Mr. Potterton and Miss Radcliffe. You could extend this and that's to the intent. Yeah. And whoever else. Um, can that I is get the intent? Yeah. Once it's accepted, Parsons and our pals. Perfect. Uh, could I ask you to make an etiquette roll or if you have any sure sort of can. literary check writing or something do. similar? I'm more of a... Look, I'm, profe I'm, <laughs> I'm professionally pretty, so... <laughs> um, I mean, I've got charm, but yes. I think etiquette's... Um, yeah. I think this is probably more folding in etiquette in this one. Your charm definitely comes through. Look, if I was if I was asking them this in person, I would use charm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is knowing the, the the times and sort of lining everything up. Yeah, my etiquette is mid at best, but that's okay. <laughs> no, that's a seriously a failure. Yeah. Nah. No, that's fine. You send it across. Um, you will have to see the response. You haven't passed yeah. it, and it take it'll take a while. It won't will, be till evening till it's confirmed. Yeah. Um, but yes, you you send it through and make the request. Uh, you can then the two of you dine, and throughout this period, Reverend Jennings, what are you looking into? Uh, that's a very good question. What am I looking into? Um, I think this is one of those like crossover things where I've I've been given the because this is the first opportunity I've had because uh, we're still in day one um, to have a look over the description of the dream that Miss Radcliffe provided. Um, in conjunction with what happened to the um killings yep. um and i like i think where i start is 
probably something like revelations like is there anything in here that is related to the kind of apocalyptical aspects of the yeah. bible of, of where we sit with this and then based on the fact that i've pretty much spent the last year getting better at occult things i assume at this point i have a couple of like slightly more esoteric volumes yeah um you know people taking the word of of god and, and exploring it in strange ways um i think they're all still related to like christianity tangentially but it'll be you know such and such had an offshoot of this specific belief and it was bent in this way yeah. and con technically considered like i don't want to say heresy because i don't think christianity really goes in for heresy that's more of a catholic thing um, they probably have a crack at it when they feel like it yeah you know but like is there anything like there's a little bit more of like where did this go from a, a blasphemy perspective that might be you know rejected by the church but for at least the reverend's uh perspective he's like an enemy i know is better than an enemy i don't yeah. i don't need to believe in this stuff i still believe in you know yeah, god is a thing you can study um, other people's beliefs without drawing them into you yeah so i think he starts with something like is there any connection with revelations or things like that? And then he will branch out. And I think he just spends the evening, like the the tedia happens at some point, like well after supper when he's he's been like at his books for quite some time. Um, and yeah, I think that's just him for the evening until he, he needs to retire. Okay, perfect. Um, so what I would love is a history role. That's the one I'm Ooh, most we may excited have lost about. Today for a second opera. Hello. Sorry about that. A fun little technical surprise, as we call it in the business. Um, Please. All right, without the further word, ado. The word for glitch and opportunity is actually uh, the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, all right, so <laughs> to <laughs> recap briefly, because I'm not sure went through what went through the stream and what went through the cast. So uh, Reverend Jennings and Miss Wentworth have retired to uh, the Upper Terryford Chapel. Miss Wentworth has sent across an invitation to the North Lakes, and Reverend Jennings is looking into... Uh, some of the uh, information in the past with an angle on religion. What I had said is what I would really love is a history role here. That's got a bit of information tied behind it, but the religion angle can also find something. Basically, this is as much up to the reverend. You're probably only going to get one role for this evening. What do you want to throw it into? Religion being particularly tied to Christianity and your own mm. interpretation of the Bible. Occult being possibly like other rituals held throughout the uh, area and history. Note that I can... There is information gated behind all three of these that could be uncovered. Or right. Cthulhu or, Mythos. Or Cthulhu Mythos, if you really want to give it a whirl. There, there, is a, there is a case for it. Look, there's a there's a sliding scale of success. Religion, I think, being, yeah, 70. Yeah. Uh, occult and history being a nice 35. And then Cthulhu Mythos being six. Like a strong so, three. Yeah. Um, the, I think... You said you're most excited by history, so I'm gonna give history a whirl. I am um, most excited by history. So, uh, yeah, let's give history a whirl. Um, I'm. Is it possible, Dave, if I wanted to come back to this, say, like the following evening, or put a bit more time into it, I could approach it from a different angle yes. if I don't succeed with this one? Okay. Absolutely. Uh, I just Absolutely. don't want to like go. I'm doing just this and then lose the yeah, opportunity no, 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 to no. try and find some kind of lead. I'm not. Uh, no. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's a, also it's a fumble. We've done. We, we are we are rolling well today. Yep, that is. Good uh, stuff. Congratulations. Um, okay. Uh, you so, also spill stuff all over your research. Uh, what I what I'm going to suggest is, Rever as uh, you suggest, perhaps in the past, Reverend James getting drawn into his work. I think you do the like. I'll be bed. I'll go to bed as soon yeah. as I finish this. And basically, if you will, if sorry, you stay up all night. This is going to be yeah. a full night, like yeah. dark eyes, and then by the time the the crows go. Uh, Roosters crow. There we go. Uh, you have uh, not gone to bed and are just absolutely knackered. Uh, I will say you are throwing some threads. There's inf interesting information here. Tarryford has a long history, and even before people began to settle here, there were like older um, tribes and things that stayed in the region that had some interesting practices. 
there is more here to uncover and you would very much wish to continue to look into this. You also think that you might want to look into other people that have been in the region longer and have may have more information into the history. That would probably go to people like the North Lakes, for example, who might have some more um, context on the area. Mm -hmm. um, what uh -huh. I will tell you is at the very least you get the name, which is the Taliri, T-A-L-L-I-R-I, -I, which is one of the tribes in the area from some time a -L -L -I -R -I? ago. T-A-L-L-I-R-I? That's right. Um, unfortunately, your tiredness is going to impose some penalty dice on uh, uh, Did you want a constitution roll, or is it just flat out, I am tired? Uh, you, g give me a constitution roll and we'll let that weight it, but you are going to be to tired be, regardless. To be clear, I'm offering this because my constitution's dog shit, so I don't think I'm passing it regardless, but oh, like, hell yeah. it's just funny. Oh no, no, That's apparently I am, I am used to doing this, but it still puts me like... That's I'm it. not useless. I'm just uh, tired. And I'm gonna need a nap. Yes, you, you you are exhausted. You're kind of going through on adrenaline uh, for the time being, but c come a lull, uh, or worse, come some sort of like adrenaline pumping confrontation, uh, we will impose a penalty dice on things. Uh, so um, the other one is Miss Wentworth. You will receive a letter back uh, once the servant returns, saying that he was met at the gate by Miss Elizabeth. She is eager to receive you. However, she cannot guarantee that her cousins will be present as they have had many things to call on uh, in the previous days and she can't promise that they'll be ready for lunch. Um, That's okay. Between you and Jennings, you will also note that you kind of... She's... There was a lot of uh, space here for them to rebuff you and you kind of left mm. that open with the etiquette, they don't seem to be doing so. It does seem like she is eager to follow up on this and to receive you. Uh, that may be just, you know, your childhood acquaintance. Uh, yeah, doing a bit and of it may thing. also just genuinely be that they are really super busy yeah. Yeah. having just arrived in town, or it might just be that they're just like, eh, not worth our time. Yeah. Okay. But Elizabeth is at least keen to receive us, which yeah. is something. Yeah. Well, if, if, if at least we're being allowed into the house, that gives yeah. us an opportunity to, exactly. to potentially ask for some of that history stuff yeah even it's, if it's, it's not directly to the cousins it's a good then, environment to start the conversation yeah and we can more relax extending an invitation us. for dinner at exactly. another time is like like usually it wouldn't be the same day unless you were on quite friendly terms it yeah. would be like tomorrow or the next yeah. day or something when like is that. next exactly do. uh last thing i'll ask before we leave the two of you is you did mention like uh sourcing a laborer or someone to assist with the uh, pub do mm -hmm. you want to do that or is it something you intend to handle yourselves with like internal staff or just you know tell them that Mr. Potterton's handy with a hammer it's more I'd probably talk to like my um, the staff that I've brought with me to the to the chapel yeah um, about and actually yeah, considering that I'm basically running the household at the moment I'd have all the information of the labourers who yeah. we've used in the past who used to work at the at, at the uh, Wentworth estate and who may be looking for work at the moment so I would probably send off um, a couple of notes as well to to a few of the trustworthy labourers we've used in the past because that woman genuinely needs help yeah 100% so, like, do you so, I genuinely want in that cellar, but that woman needs help, and I think she's do, more likely. Do you want to, to arrange? Do you want to arrange someone to just go there tomorrow morning and do it? This isn't a role. This is just you will just send it. You're not going to ask. You're going to just say, "Hey, can you go and do this in the morning? You'll be paid, you know." And they will just go and do it. Or no. do you want to time it for when you can arrive? Yeah, I, I want to time it for when I can be there also. Okay. You can easily set up someone in town who Jimbo. will receive you come morning or in the in the early afternoon. And basically, once you arrive, they will go with you to the pub and they yes. can do the repairs. Uh, yes. Jim? Muted. A little narrative We're suggestion. Having a run beat, today. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I apologize. A little narrative suggestion on that beat just to try and um, expand it potentially as quickly as possible. If the North Lakes have just, the new North Lakes have just arrived, I'm wondering if they've suddenly tried to hire like every laborer in town for a massive project or something like that. Is there suddenly like a, no, okay. Doesn't appear to be so, although the like first, genuinely the first person you think of is probably like John Pilling. And you don't know if that's because yeah. he's dead or if it's probably because you're someone oh. you've before. And then uh, others in that space. Um, who you can you can cast it across to. So no, although mm -hmm. a few of yeah. the people have fallen uh, to slumber. Uh, well, that's true, is that that's probably more likely than the North Lakes snapping yeah. them up, is that they may just be ill. And as, um, you know, labourers and, and less well-to-do folk, 
may not be people may not be aware of it yet yeah so i may i, I in the process i may end up uncovering further victims of the sleeping sickness as yeah. i look for somebody to um come and assess um, yes. you... and of course the it'll be paid for by yeah. myself easily done um you can arrange for someone to meet you in tarryford come the afternoon you'll be, get a response and a confirmation um and then you can turn yourself over to bed even though your uh fiance will uh spend the evening pouring over old tomes uh i mean it's not like we're in even close proximity in this house at the moment <laughs> i'm in an entirely different room uh, miss wentworth has like the guest wing to herself mm -hmm. as far as a, a rectory has a wing it's, it's, a room. it's probably it's where your sister was. Yeah. Oh. It'd be your sister's room. Which we would have at least somewhat. I think I would have mentioned that to you at this yeah. point. Oh, yeah. We yeah, would have talked about it. Over the last. We've had a couple yeah. of trauma related discussions over the last year. <laughs> Those old yeah. chestnuts. It's, it's that you would note that, like, I don't come into that part of the house very often, which is, like, for proprietary reasons. It means that people don't talk but also like you know yeah it's yeah it, it's also a thing of like yeah we are engaged for here's your private area i'm not yes. really gonna like be there all that much so it, you know yeah. etc yes and people are sympathetic to the fact that i just don't want to rattle around in this big old house by myself yeah like <laughs> okay all right, we'll park the two of you there and we will return, uh, we'll turn over to Miss Radcliffe, who uh, arrives back at uh, the Potterton's estate. Uh, as you arrive, you can see that uh, two of the younger uh, Potterton's, uh, this is Charles and Lucy, are out playing, racing around through some of the fields, uh, while Marianne, the eldest sister, the one that you probably first met in George's, uh, kind of like equal in looking after the estate, is standing up on one of the houses and out over them uh mr potterton being henry the father is out in the fields managing some of the farmhands and as you're kind of like trundling in and just setting the sources out you do remark back to your current predicament you've found no real signs of great wealth within the pottertons what? they hold huge tracts of land they have a lot of heft in society and where mr potterton goes that being george james's character people definitely treat him with respect and he has many accounts but there's little in the way of painting jewels gold something yes. practical um well this is this is kind of what i feel like it was it's i feel like it's probably one of the few times i've gotten george away uh and you know probably my best chance to snoop around if people still think i'm you know under the weather and i not keep a close eye on me yeah probably this is my last chance especially because in two days some kids gonna get kidnapped yeah uh to stop that from happening but you're saying even even with this like really good chance to snoop around no no you could you could absolutely have gonna, a look now you could confirm everything gotta have a look. i gotta find something yeah i gotta just like get, put together everything i've i've learned everything i've heard over the last three months you know any any kind of stories about antiques or, or stories about investments that you know paid for this thing yeah and failing that i guess i mean safes behind paintings a thing yet yeah i, I, I have I, I had rumors of it jim i have a suggestion of one valuable artifact that could be i mean apart from all of the obvious you know any number of paintings that we do have otherwise we've established that uh my my father the the potterton who is you know neglecting his his role and not really mm. managing the household has a nice little alchemical habit is getting very into all of these sort of strange tinctures and things maybe he's doing some kind of weird elixir of life thing i think that was very in vogue at the time and he's bought a bunch sure. of super rare ingredients that were yeah. like you know they're probably fashionable among, amongst the sort of weird weird people in that circle um, or even like and, alchemist you know, equipment like a like a little chemistry lab kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. kind of bells and whistles rare diamonds were brought in from you know some distant uh land and stuff yeah yeah i like it yeah, yeah absolutely i think he's thrown himself into this a little bit um i mean your mother passed shortly after the the, the birth of one of the youngest it wasn't directly tired but it was certainly in in rapid succession uh and there's a level of henry's obsession which is you know could there be something have been done for the wife that he still mourns and then trying to tie him to the children and you know it's he has sicknesses himself um perhaps these concoctions would help him 
Uh, you can have a look through some of those. You can also just search the whole estate, see if there's anything else that hasn't been turned over. As you pass yeah. the horses over and go in, you are more than welcomed into the household. The staff basically recognize you as a firm guest and you won't be monitored as you travel. Uh, running into Lucy at some point, we'll just meet a polite conversation where she asks in earnest how you've been in Tarryford and what you were up to, but no prying. And you do kind of feel you are welcome here as a guest and a member of the household. Um, you also can't help but look as you stare out the window towards the two youngest uh, Pottertons just how easy it might be. There they are, dancing underneath one of the trees, racing back and forth, hiding, and for a short moment, uh, the youngest, Charles, uh, is lost. Sorry, this would've been Lucy, it would've been Susan you ran into. Is lost by Lucy, vanished for a moment, and you kind of can't help but wait with your heart, like, shuddering until Lucy finds him, hiding behind one of, like, hiding up the tree, and they continue to race around the garden. It would be very easy for your brother to wanting to hear and affect his plan mm. Mm. well good uh one <laughs> safe please okay one hidden safe full of golden jewels uh, uh do you want to go ahead and give go. me i think spot hidden makes the most sense if there's anything else so you'd too. like to argue i don't think sure i mean if this fails i might you know take a wander around and go for an appraise for like things that are in plain oh, sight. Oh, appraise would be valuable. really good. But, but I think spot hidden first because okay. I'm better at it. And to look for the, the like the hidden stuff, and then following that, look at the yes. value. Yes, and you of haven't really, you haven't hidden. had an opportunity, as you said, much to, to yourself. This is kind of the first time. So yes, go ahead and give me a spot yeah. hidden roll. Okay. Real success. success. Is um, there something that's going to need a little bit of luck in it? No. On find... on a spot hidden roll, you have you have the run of the house for the evening, and you're aware Mister Podden will come back come like come nightfall. As the rest of the guests uh, gather for as as the rest of the family gathers for dinner, yours will be taken to your room because it's not just an affectation. You are quite unwell, and you are genuinely kind of powering through exhaustion at this point. Mm, uh, for one sure. between the rooms, and um, but you have the run of the place, and you can have a look around. You are going to come across uh, Mr. Uh, that being Henry Potterton's uh, study. It's not super well kept for, and George is currently in the process of reviewing all of the accounts of the estate and is sort of gathering things into piles and beginning to double check things. Um, but through here, you will find uh, evidence of the holdings, like that being this, this house, the farms that surround it, and also reference to a summer house, which is on the property uh, further away, though, behind a stand of trees that you were previously unaware of. The Pottertons oh. don't really seem to talk about it or use it very much. Um, it's kind of like a slightly run-down sort of thing, but basically something you weren't aware of, and it's a place you haven't searched. Well, yes, that's the best shot I've got, failing any hidden saves, I guess. I guess if it was going to put anything super value, it would be this house that no one ever really talks about. Uh, the sun's gone down by this point. Sun is sun is beginning to set, and you suspect George will be returning soon. Actually, sorry, you as you as you begin to put this plan together, you see one of the servants departing with a carriage to go and retrieve Mister Potterton. So he will be back in about an why? hour or so. Is there any chance I just forgot to mention that George needs a ride from town? Absolutely. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, you were quite well. As soon as you came back, you had to go and retire. You've taken your soup in, you've mm -hmm. left inside the door, and you've closed the door. And opening one of the windows, you can see a means to drop down into the gardens behind if you want to take it. I think I better had. I will remind you, you are quite unwell, and I am going to be imposing a penalty dice on all physical tests you do here. Ooh, all of them. Okay. All right. That's That fine. would include things like climb and stealth. Yeah, it's not ideal. But it's mostly a risk of a I little mean, bonk of damage. Yeah, it's doing that or doing nothing. And if I've got a choice between doing something and nothing, I'll do something. That's because okay. that, that, that's what makes good TV. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you want to make your way out into the night? I will. Okay. With the sun setting, you uh, change your night dress for sort of sort of more functional clothes, open the window, and drop down. Can I ask you to make a climb or jump roll, please? And you are going to take a penalty dice on this. Oh my god. Are you unmuted, I believe, too? Let's just make sure I'm a more. fine success. And let's see what that turns into. Yeah, yeah okay. 77. Uh, can you go ahead and take a D 
just take a d2 of damage. It's not going to be much. As you as you, as you you take the jump here, uh, twist your ankle slightly in the landing, uh, and then set out. As you do land, for a moment, you kind of s not start, but directly underneath this is the dining room where the Pottertons are gathered, and one of the windows is partly open to let a, a breeze in, and you can hear them talking. Uh, they're uh, chatting about sort of Lucy and Charles and gathering, and once again kind of reminded of how easy it would be. They're saying, you know, not to go running out at night, uh, again, they're to stay inside the house and to, to be in bed as uh, immediately after dinner. Uh, you gather your things up and with no need for light, running, relying on the moon above you, begin to set out through the woods and towards the state. Um, Travelling through here, it's easy enough. In Even in the darkness, the moon provides ample light and you can uh, wander beneath uh, trees until you find uh, the fabled summer house. Uh, you'd seen no reference to it previously, but now that you arrive, you're surprised it isn't mentioned more. It's an interesting sort of thing. It's a large, circular, sort of almost turret, about 20 feet high, with a uh, ring of Tuscan columns around the base. A very sort of, like, expensive property, and it doesn't match the styling of the rest of the house. It's kind of out of fashion it would have been built some time ago and then probably once they began to run out of money it was just abandoned they had fewer guests they didn't want to pay staff to upkeep it uh and eventually they just let it fall uh you do slightly have the you would have the thought that george has mentioned in the past his father's interest in sort of alchemical pieces he might be using this place as something of a laboratory and maybe there's some pieces stored within here um, as you head towards it, you can find it sort of overrun by tangled brambles and things, but there is signs of people having gone through here not too long ago. There's a section that's been sort of pushed open, and can I ask you to make a track roll, please? You can ask, but I refuse to, okay. to make that roll. It's unclear what direction they came from, presumably just people wandering around. Um, you can get towards the front door uh, and find it is unlocked. Well then, I entree. Okay. You push it open and it sweeps across the stone ground. This is only a sort of single story, although the upper section would have some storage space just in the roof. Um, there are a gathering of uh, shelves all across the sides. And unfortunately, the hope of finding some laboratory equipment is quickly quelled. There's nothing in here. And it looks like they're not even using it for like long-term storage. It's just covered in dust and nothing, nothing uh, held here of value. But you're def it's definitely clear that someone's been in here. Your insect would probably be the two youngest twins playing. It looks as though thing like... Uh, tables have been dragged around inside it pushed up against the sides one of the rugs has sort of been twisted around it looks as though someone's had a go at getting uh the stairs that lead up to the cellar to descend and not been able to do so uh this is in keeping with yes. them sort of just racing around oh dang it uh dave why'd you bring me here uh i've just got to case the whole place okay uh you say stairs to the cellar uh stairs up to the to the attic sorry to the attic. Uh, up to the attic that um, have not been lowered yep let's let's just do the whole get, get the whole thing a good good once over good okay. going over um would you are you willing to start like using torches and things a lantern if they look out from the house might just catch it uh Ooh, through the trees what if i what if i like you know cover up the windows make yeah. sure there's like yeah yeah cover things up maybe put something in front of the door so i get a, a bit of an advance notice if anyone's coming yeah just really barricade myself in in, in so here with no whatever easy else. route of escape yeah 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 yeah, yeah. absolutely this, this cabin in the woods in the middle of the night all right that's so the, what i'd like to do dave and you're also spending some time on this even if mr if Pot, mr potterton is returning there's a chance that he will just walk back in and, uh, or walk back to his home as you're spending basically enough time here knowing that no one will call on you okay uh can i ask you to go ahead and give me a spot hidden roll like any bonus die if i really take my time here like um if I'm, yeah if I'm you know going, what? Like, yes if, if you're willing you know, to basically commit to not yeah. kind of a bit similar to reverence you're not really resting much tonight and you're already a little yeah. frail this is going to keep that penalty you've already had going forward and Ooh. if you, if we get into fumble territory it's going to make it even worse you're really putting your health at risk here sure. but this doesn't count as a physical kind of you're, no. you're talking about penalty dice for physical kind of exertion that's what i'm saying so is much. you're going to maintain the physical dice into the next day because you're not resting sure. and getting over yeah, it yeah, yeah. and if we fumble or if we push it it could make very things good very worse. good Oh yeah, go ahead yeah, and make but a spot. spot hidden. Isn't like a isn't like a isn't that doesn't have a penalty die. No, so it does not. This is gonna be with a bonus around. dice. I will invoke my God-given right to look around. Go for it. 
Hey. Oh, hey, oh is that a crit? That's a crit. Give me everything, Dave. Give okay. me the gold, the jewels, the priceless heirlooms, the deed to a property somewhere else, the but his, bank account. And what you find out is this place is definitely of, haunted. Uh, what you find out is the kids are playing in here and nothing else is happening. No, uh, yeah, a, a look through it uh, gives you a strange feeling. You, you begin to canvas the whole thing, and quickly you're, like, two things pique your curiosity kind of back to back. One is a feeling of sort of emptiness inside here. It definitely feels unnerving, and is even if you're pushing it, you think at first it's just the paranoia, like the feeling of sickness from the recent, uh, your, your tiredness, the impending, like, uh, you know, basically antagonistic action from your brother. But there's something more underneath this. You are reminded of when you first woke up from slumber and you were shaking that feeling off from you. The paranoia is only augmented by a very clear footprint you find at one point where the children were playing, sort of clambering up the things, except the boot is much too large for that of a child. And doubling back now, some of the furniture that was moved around, that's beyond the twins. Uh, even working together, someone larger and stronger, still multiple people moving through here, have been in here and recently. Um, thinking back to the mentions from uh, the twins and, and their siblings, they were being um, not, uh, they were being basically chastised for playing late last night and they were maintaining mm -hmm. the whole time that they weren't doing it. Someone else was out here last night what? with lanterns. Uh, you will also right. find, crouching down behind it, moving one of the rugs back, a strange symbol carved into the ground. And I'm going to share a hand with you. God well, damn There it. is something in here. This wasn't just a nonsense waste of my time. Uh, can, <laughs> every, can everyone see that? I've gone through. What's the hand I called? Oh, here it is. It's symbol. Symbol. And it's a, uh, it's a, it's a circle, and then a line, and then two curvy lines. Which rune quest rune is like? that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you as you look at this, can I ask you to make a power roll? Oh heck. Okay, that's okay. I'm good. Okay. Um, looking over this, you feel this wash of cold. This sort of like it's like peering into the void, that feeling of slipping over into it and falling, falling, falling. You can't help but trace it. And as you stare, you feel as though you could be drawn into it. Uh, a strange feeling, but you're able to sort of shake it off and step back. I will say you could tumble. You could let yourself fall into this. Kind of a feeling that it's taking you somewhere. Yep. I just, just because I want to just immediately my brain mm -hmm. was like this looks a little bit like a ripple on a surface of some water that's a bit just just putting that putting that oh, brain worm it's out there right there we go uh sure okay. i don't i got plenty of power Okay. I can pull myself out of whatever this is. You... And this was the point, ladies and gentlemen, that Jackson lost his second character uh, for Regency. You feel that sort of like pulling forward and you catch yourself tumbling and then it's that tiredness washes over you and you fall forward into this and like the Reverend, or well, like Art suggested, that sort of ripple cascades and you tumble through it and out into the other side where for a moment you are in a small circular chamber claustrophobically small, packed with earth, stones, and roots. It's a dry floor, it goes up towards the side, and then above you, you can see a stone capstone sealed into it with this same symbol on the underside. You reach instinctively up towards it and then are tumbled back out through it and into the space in the summer home on the Mortview estate where the Potitans live. I'm going to ask you to make a sanity roll as you basically feel yourself move through two different spaces rapidly. Uh, that is going to be All a single... Good. That is going to be, actually, that is going to be zero points. You're okay. And then I'm going to continue to honour your critical success oh, no, with the yeah. discovery that this is a capstone, what this is carved into. And with the appropriate application of a crowbar and some weight... It can be moved. 
more that similar is stuff. Utterly fascinating. Wait, wait. Have we just found the Call of Cthulhu version of a portable hole? That's what I'm feeling like. Like, it, I it, do I get the sense that I went through this thing to the space underneath? When you when you stand up again, you're standing in the exact same position you were in. Um, you more feel that it was a moving of like feeling more than physical transportation. You're also okay. awash with this like. It, you succeeded the power roll and you succeeded your scan, sanity roll, so you're in control of it. There is this wave of like emptiness and apathy that runs through you. It's as if your organs are absent and there's just a dead blank cold inside. You generally kind of stand there for a moment just unfeeling and you have to shake yourself from it. Okay. Is there... I mean... Any part of me that thinks... You, you... I noticed that this 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 stone can be lifted up. Yes, it's heavy, but it's heavy. I I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. But is there anything? Do I get the sense again, that sorry, something being? Oh, well, again, on the critical, you can see signs of chips along it. You might not be the first person to have found this. You might not even be the yeah. first person to have opened this. That's what I'm thinking. Like this is a thing that can be moved. Yes, and someone you suspect has moved it. I mean, I don't know if I can ask this. Do I get the sense that there'd be something valuable under there? It's a very know. heavy a thing. I can ask the GM. Yeah. That's a character question, it, I think. You you genuinely think that this is a this is leaning more towards a cult or ritual than like where we keep the family jewels. That said, hmm. people have old things of great value. There's also a chance this is just where the Potterton's keep their dead. It's a weird place to keep it, and a little sacrilege, but, you know, this is more ritual than value. Okay. I definitely don't have the strength, or even on a good day, to probably move this heavy stone thing. So I think I'll have to leave it for tonight. I'll, I will tell you, if you wanted to attempt it, it would be a hard strength roll by yourself, and you will be taking a penalty dice. Yeah, I don't think I could even consider it but I think I'll keep it in my back pocket and perhaps bring it up okay. in a few days back at the tavern. Okay. All right. Noting this... I'd say that was a successful night. Okay. I'm going to get back to bed. Noting this, you can return back the way you came and retreat to bed, and as you do so, I'm going to make, ask you to make a stealth roll with a penalty dice. Okay. Okay. 68 over 35, and I don't okay. think that's worth 37 points of luck. Uh, we're going to park you there, and we're going to see what time Mr. Potterton gets home, because I think this might be a chance encounter finding your paramour stumbling back out of the woods uh, at a very late hour. Um, uh, Jim. After not sending a carriage. After you. not sending a carriage because she's gone to bed. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Potterton. Uh, you spend a period outside the tavern and then eventually catch Dr. Parsons as he's returning home. You can walk with him and he will invite you in uh, to watch over the uh, forthcoming. They're not like full autopsies. It's really him just having a good look, you know, making yeah. as many notes as he can while still trying to preserve the bodies. Uh, the uh, corpse of... Um, uh, John Pilling will be escorted on a, a wagon, deposited inside, and as you're sort of like going to meet him, you can hear the wailing of Maggie um, from further inside, reminded of the recent actions or at least the uh, events you witnessed. Um, how, what are you doing during this? Do you just want to stand by and be of assistance? How do you think you handle what is, you know, corpses and blood? Uh, well, probably less blood given they, well, John's pretty recent. Um, what do you want to be doing? I think that uh, I I come in. I I, I think I think I'm getting, my 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 idea of George is that it, he can kind of distance every cell everything and think of it as like a fun hobby or game until suddenly he's conf like confronted with the reality of things and then it, he's much more like yeah. tensed up. Uh, you're not necessarily losing his his, his shit quite, but um, you know like just I, having a bit of 
could I trouble. ask you to make a? Yeah, so as you, I, I think this, I think I might ask you to make a sanity roll. It's just gonna yeah. be a point. And the context of it is, as you go down, you sort of uh, ask to, to assist with him. Mrs. Parsons is has laid out supper, um, but Doctor Parsons is is focused on his trial. It will, he will take like some some quiet nourishment and then head down into a colder room underneath. There you will find, laid out on a slab, is the naked body of Garrett Copeland. He was a sort of larger man. Uh, you can see the sort of marks of hard day's work. And you've met him in the past. You were never one to frequent his establishment, but you knew him as a very, like, larger-than-life character. He took a lot of pride in his tavern. He was known uh, to the people here, and he was a hard worker and an honest man. Here on the table, all life is drained from him, and you are looking at gray meat clad in hairy skin uh his eyes are completely lifeless his mouth is hanging open slightly limply and there is no dignity in this death he fell asleep began to waste away and now he's cold on stone it's empty here follow him okay i i can send you roll Um, could you just take a point, please? Sure. Um, it, uh, can I spend luck on a Sandy roll? I always forget if I... I, I think so. No, okay, never mind. Um, I should think not. If, if, should James, think if, not. If, you think, if you think Mr. Poddleton's familiar with this and, and doesn't want to... This is a kind of a more narrative it, beat I, than anything. It's, it's more It's more. I, I got so close to it yeah. that I, I think he he, he he does... Is okay? Would you? I know, I know rules technique. Can yeah. I spend luck on this? Just then yeah. we'll say... Yeah, well, yeah. Sure, Excellent. Man. Yeah. Um, in which case, what I'll do, I will. Sp I'll spend the luck and not take it. And I, I, ca I came down with the idea that I, I have some natural philosophy, and I was going to treat it like a whole fun science experiment. I, if I was, if I lost the point, I was going to go, oh, he doesn't actually have medicine, and he goes very like, ah, mm, uh, and just yeah. kind of sort of nods and make noises the whole time, and watch is really not really able to help. I think I can de like distance myself. I will yeah. help out. I ask a bunch of curious questions and uh yeah just sort of do anything i can not necessarily making a medical analysis but uh trying to get any insight into sort of like the science of how this death could have happened and, and thinking about it from the perspective of disease because to me it's beyond the medicine yeah um okay uh, i'm gonna ask you to make a uh I'm actually could you give me a like medicine natural philosophy something like that roland you can take a bonus dice there will be some information uncovered by uh the doctor in his own studies to see if you can draw anything further i, I will take the natural philosophy angle because i'm not medically trained i think it's i'm trying my best to apply that so i, I will i will spend some more luck and uh bring that down to a success for a, a, a natural philosophy check okay Working with Dr. Parsons, and you, like many other of your companions, will remain a little mm -hmm. later, um, begin to, to go through the bodies. It's remarkable how devoid of character they are. I mean, they wasted away while they're in this space, and they don't even look familiar. Like, this is beyond just the dead body isn't, you know, the spirit has left. This is like it's been sucked out and completely stripped away. Dr. Parsons is somewhat uncomfortable by this and he starts to, he takes to like muttering a little bit and, you know, saying this is a, uh, this is an unfortunate thing and but here's the, here's to hoping we can stop anyone else going down here. He would be very familiar with this and it's clearly affecting him somewhat too. On a success, you're going to notice... One is, it is very much like the soul has been... Like, like, these people have gone through something more and been talked out. Another is that there's no clear cause of death. It, it's just the heart thundered, then stopped. Uh, John's was more violent. There's a couple of, like, claw marks where he tried to get his nails in to Dr. Parsons while he was helping. But... Ultimately, once again, his, it seems as though his heart gave out. There aren't, like, uh, opening them, there's signs of, like, unwellness in them, but they don't have, like, a huge tumour that both of them shared. And the final thing is that each of them have the faintest tract of once the stomach is opened, because they've had long enough to, like, like, they've been asleep for a while, that they've been just taking broth and, 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 like, running it through their system. There is the tiniest string, like, a smear of some black, tar like substance up against the bowels something that moved into their stomach and has never quite dissipated 
um, Dr. Parsons will note it too scrape it out and move it to a probably not a petri dish or way before that but some sort of like small jar where he seals it and uh sets it aside that's probably what i focus on the natural philosophy angle rather than the medical um i would w- <laughs> it'd be great if we could open up mrs copeland and see if she had something in her stomach from the blue the blue water but that's probably beyond the current medical science <laughs> miss miss um, radcliffe do you mean uh, oh no, no, oh no, uh, oh no, the, sorry, yes, I do hear yeah. uh, Maggie pilling. Yeah, sorry, uh, yes, my bad. Uh, uh, yes, that would be, uh, she would die. Very inappropriate. <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, a, a quick a quick look at it is, it is, you are unable to identify what it is. Your instinct is something, a, it's a bit like treacle, it's a bit like the tar they use to patch roofs. Um, it has a bit more, like, elasticity to it, and it seems to hold itself together more or less. I purchased previously a um, bunch of tinctures from the alchemist that were being given to people who were sick. Uh, And I mentioned that I might've given them to the doctor because it's possible that it wasn't helping them. Like, Mm -hmm. like in the context of like, this is probably poison. Yes, yeah, I I think he did take some of them, yeah. To analyze, can I quickly compare these two samples and just check if there could be a link between the two of them, just to like discredit the idea that there is in fact um, you can take a look. Uh, you've already you've already succeeded that philosophy role. I'll say you can't see anything directly tying to them, as you. But you're spending a little bit of time looking into this and sort of allowing it. Um, when he put it into the jar, he did like he like pulled it out with a small blade and then like run it along the lip of the jar so that it could like then smear down and in. Uh, it hasn't settled yet. It's continuing to just stay a little, like, drip mm. on the edge of it, even though it's been laid up, and you think it's because it's particularly viscous. As you take it and compare to the other, you actually realize it's running in the other direction. It's, like, sticking to the lid of the cap, and as you sort of, like, upend it, because you're going to look at it from above, it begins to run a little bit up the side, defying all understandings of gravity. But, but oh not, God. like, trying to get out because the cap's at the bottom. And it's okay. very slowly just, like, dribbling up the side, basically kind of staying in its place and rising somewhat. Can I ask you to make a sanity roll? Yeah, that's that's entirely fair. Especially because uh. you have an understanding of natural philosophy and this is not working within the parameters. Okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Weird. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, beyond that, I think I, I, think I, I thank... Um, I thank the doctor. I ask him to keep the sample like tucked away. Probably don't tell him what I've noticed immediately because I'm worried he's already a bit uh, on the edge. Uh, he and- says he will stay here. He's going to remain and continue to work uh, with the intent of basically receiving the four of you before going over to the Haverings in the morning. He'll try and get some little rest. Can I try a quick... Genuinely, I can, can I try a, a, a persuade? I, I might just turn to him at this point and say, I uh, I think you might have done all you can this evening. I think we're looking at something that could potentially, if we, if, if, if you're put out of commission because of any kind of infection or anything, we're going to be flying in the dark. You should sleep. I'm, Mr. Potterton, you've, you, you can see what's happening to these people. They're, If this is accelerating, if this is getting faster, this is our only chance to act. John's death was sudden. We don't know when it can affect anyone else. They're not just slipping away anymore. I I understand that, but in terms of just the strategic application of our best efforts, I don't think that... I think we've found what we might find from this autopsy. You've performed... I, I, I think you should rest. We'll need you at your full strength for that focus. That's all. I, I agree entirely. It's just a methodology discussion. Okay. Um, can I ask you to make a persuade test? Failure. He says he will do. He will take as much rest as he can afford, but he needs to write up these notes first, compare them to some others, and he should get something to eat. Uh, as you depart, you're not at all certain that he will find much rest tonight. Mm. Um, uh, I, I go outside and look for the horse waiting for me. You step outside and there's, you know, there's a window. We're not working on, like, cell phones, so people could, you know, you have to kind of line it. But that said, you worked a little later than you anticipated. Night has fallen now, uh, and there's no sign of the carriage. 
Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably Perhaps just go it to, the was sent to the tavern. Well, given that I've now figured out that uh, the the there's a brigand there, I probably don't want to chance that. You've I also been a I, little bit booted out. Yeah, I think I now. I try to trek home. Okay. There should be, if does is Tariffid big enough to have post? Yeah. You might. Should be able to borrow a might, horse they, from someone. They might. It, the post horses are like pretty well kept for like you can go with post if post is being delivered um, I, I, that's a good, you could make a like a credit rating role or something to kind of be like i'm an important gentleman i'll be having that i i, I think i'm because of the position my family's in I'm, I'm really trying to monitor our impact on the town i probably i think i just i stump it i just go all right i'm a i'm a I'm also convinced of my ability to suddenly go on long late night walks so i, I think i trek it okay I did. Um, uh, you begin to make your way out of town, and uh, as you're traveling, I want you to make a luck roll for me. Certainly. This sounds fantastic, considering I just spent some. That is a failure on luck. As you're moving along, and I'm going to move you all across to this map here. Uh -oh. If, oh, my stuff's been a little bit slow to work, and this might have been what exploded my computer last time. So maybe I'm not going <laughs> to do that. Um, yeah, we're not going to risk it. As you're traveling along the path, <laughs> suddenly a carriage... Actually, it's not sudden. You can hear it racing along, and it's moving at some speed. It's one of those, like... You remember the other session I was telling you about, like, the sporty ones? They can only fit two people, and it's kind of, like... You know, it's kind of cool. Yep, yep. One of these goes racing along past, and in the distant light with no lanterns to see, you kind of have to step back and away. And as it rushes past you, you are unable to identify who was uh, who was traveling along it. Um, but it comes from, at this point, you, you're walking along towards your home out of Tarryford. It comes from Tarryford, races past you, and then vanishes. You cannot see where they went. Heading um, in the direction of, oh, potentially though, to my home. Potentially though, towards right. your home, that's right. Quick navigate check, if you'll allow me to figure out where they were going. Yeah. Go ahead and give it, yeah, yeah, 100%. Give me a navigation roll. Nah. Uh, no, and then 19 points, too much to luck. Or, you I... know, it, your house is in this direction. There are others in the area too that this might be heading towards. Wherever they were going, they were going at some speed, and they made no... They... The other thing is, generally you have a little bit of... You possibly catch yourself a little bit. You're you're a bit more, like, willing to be nice to people. People should know who you are, and they shouldn't yeah. run you off the goddamn road. Like, that was... It's... Don't really, ask if you want a lift. Yeah, that was really uncommon. I mean, yeah, and you're probably I, I, genuinely I, 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 a bit irritated for a moment, and then you could comprehend the emotions and you know be a bit more logical about it. But yeah, it was a, it was a strange thing. Um, they race off, you don't see them, and then you continue your long trek back towards home. Okay. Um, you left earlier. It's a few. It's it's going to be late by the time you arrive. Um, everyone else in the in in the house is is asleep. Um, can I get you to make a spot hidden roll, please? This sure. is just going to see if there's a chance in count. That is a failure on me. Okay. Um, you head back towards it. Uh, you stop briefly outside Miss Radcliffe's room, but there's no sound from inside. She's probably turned in already. And then you head back to your own bed, uh, and rest for the evening. Um, Jackson, were you a fumble or just a failure? Just a failure in that Just a throw. failure. Okay. We gave the circumstances around it. I think you are able to find your way back in. One of the servants might come across you, but you can you can head back to bed. We had the chance opportunity at Mr. Potterton, but given his timing arrival, and I think your forethought of not sending the carriage mm -hmm. has relieved you of that penalty, uh, you can return to your own bed and get some rest at least. Um... Three of you sleep, one of you studies, and eventually the morning comes. As a final question, just to ease off before the next phase, the, the emptiness that was described by Jane Radcliffe uh, when she was in that sort of, that state, that, that uh, uh, place, um, does the symptoms of that sort of strange behavior of like apathy and all that at all track with the uh, unusual behavior my father has been um, you know, putting forward for years now. Ooh. Your father is 
very depressed. Genuinely. The, the, the loss of his wife hit him, and he has never recovered. He barely survives. His family is hemorrhaging wealth, and he is clinging to the last. He is just trying to last long enough that you can all get married and have a better life before he tumbles into the grave. He's got his own problems going on. Yeah, he's, it's not he's, tied to this. He's not Cthulhu mythos. No, he's uh, just not sad. Doing well. He's, he's just, just regular. Really sad. Yeah, okay. It Brilliant. just sucks for him, <laughs> man. Re regular bad You're stuff. You're also jelly. And like the, 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 the alchemical stuff and the things. It's his like grips with trying to keep himself. He works crazy hours. He has way rougher hands than any other well-to-do people in the area. He feels deep shame and doesn't attend gatherings anymore, sending you in his stead. Uh, he barely interacts with his family even, just trying to, basically out of guilt that he's put them in this situation, although really it's not his fault. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. It fully <laughs> sucks right. for him. Excellent. Yeah. Um, come the Jeez. morning, uh, the intent is for all of you to meet with Dr. Parsons then head towards the have rings. There will be chances for the, in the, the pairings to meet and, and chat first, and then we'll group the four of you together. Are there any discussions you want to have just with your paramours, or do you want to all meet together and share some of the most recent events? Well, Jim, well, absolutely. Uh, you know, with, with shuddering breath and, you know, a hand to her chest, say, I'm so sorry, Mr. Potterton, I, I, the, the carriage, it, it completely slipped my mind, and I, I, I don't know where my mind was at. I, uh, it was must have been a long day, I suppose. But even so, to had to have you walk all that way. Well, that's much more of an imposition than I was in. And I just oh. simply feel awful, and I, I can't believe that you had to walk Ms. all Radcliffe, that way. Miss Radcliffe, please. Yeah, I, I, it, it, the Constitutional did me. I, I, I actually probably was a bit annoyed, but I need to <laughs> brag about how far I can walk. So I have to, <laughs> I have to pretend it was fine. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, I, 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 I dismiss your your concerns, and um, yeah, it all is well. Um. We will, we will, we, we can board uh, a, a, the carriage and head to rejoin the others. And uh, I hope that the rest has made you feel slightly more yourself. I would like to know from the GM if yeah. I'm still like getting better and better and better, or if this uh, is hanging over me. It's hanging over you. You suspect that Dr. Parsons' advice of stay in bed and consume broth for a while was not just said for his own. You know, you, you need to rest. You are deeply unwell and you are not giving yourself the recovery time. You still have that penalty dies on physical tests. And I might actually ask you to... I think you will need to make a, a fast talk or an acting role here, particularly because not only did you genuinely missend the carriage, also Mr. Potterton's mention of the Mr. Black who's staying there and also your late night trek through their gardens. I think it is. Yeah, precision. Genuinely, you, One point under. your just sincere regret for not sending the carriage kind of dominates the conversation as well and prevents it being steered anywhere you don't want to. You are, you are ever the lady. Um, uh, it yeah. also helps that I'm actually sick. Like, yeah, I'm you, actually not Yeah, you straight up do have doing a penalty right. dice on physical. <laughs> you are not doing well. You're saying, there's probably a little level of when you wake up this morning, you do have, like, crusty eyes. You're like, I just want to yeah. go back to bed. Actually, fuck this visit. <laughs> I, I think also probably if I if I do, if my suspicions do continue to build, I think they'll probably head in the direction of, like, the brigands are blackmailing uh, the, you know, poor Miss Radcliffe, which 100%. is sort of not untrue. It's not either. not wrong. Yeah, it's not not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, no private discussions or things you want to you want to touch on. Otherwise, we'll check in with Reverend Jennings and Miss Wentworth. Is there anything you want to speak about? Um, I will mention the note that I sent, as well as the lukewarm response and the likelihood that uh, while while Elizabeth is quite happy to receive us today, uh, the luncheon may need to be postponed. Which honestly, we we expected anyway. It was worth a try, though. No, you've you've, you've done excellently, um, Miss. Ms. Wentworth, um, I, I, I would be, uh, I think, like, he's quite clearly a little tired, and it's like, the, the uh, postponing the luncheon, I think, might be a, a sensible plan for more than one reason. Why? Uh, I don't know why it is so hard to pin down anything in this particular instance, but it still seems to elude me, no matter how much time I give it. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Um, we we should we should get on. 
These are things no, no human has ever witnessed before outside of a very small handful of individuals, most of whom, well, are here. So yeah. don't be too hard on yourself, dear. Thank you, my dear. I am. Um... I I know um yes thank you Gorgeous. are we headed back into town yeah intent would be to to meet in front of uh, or to just I think I mentioned it last and I can't remember if we decided meet in front of Italy that meet at Dr. Yeah. Parsons or meet at the Haverings I think actually it might have been meet at the Haverings and then he will join you there and, and escort you all in up to the functionally though he's knackered. He will be there. He will not have slept. He's not involving in conversation. The four of you have the chance to meet on carriages and then you can head towards the, the Havering Estate one way or the other, unless there's anything you want to pointedly do in town so you'd wish to go there first. Um, we have our own carriage so we can collect and you, you you folks would as well, so we can always, the four of us can share a carriage out to the Haverings. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I do stop briefly in town, if that's all right. Uh, Dave, would you would you permit me to make a credit rating check? I would like to stop in at the uh, the tavern with a hey, sorry, I put together like I, I got you a new set of books or something, or I, I organized for a bill. I just want to try and like I'm not necessarily trying to get rep back, but just like it's it's a repair thing. I, I understand that. I I am gonna ask you to make an an etiquette roll for this. Sure. Extreme okay. success on etiquette. Yeah. Very nice. Well done. Yeah, you you kind of smooth it. She admits that you know she wasn't exactly in in in, in her right mind either, uh, and uh, genuinely probably actually a little bit apologizes probably more than necessary to you for inconvenience you and for making you feel like you needed to leave. And now that you feel like you needed to come back, water under the bridge. She's very grateful for your for your assistance. Um, Excellent, smooth, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, smooth. I, I, I do. I do the same. I'm equally as yeah. But I, I, I genuinely try to maintain the family yeah. reputation. Yeah, no, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, you, you, you swept that out of the wedge, and um, you're able to, uh, yeah, you'll be able to return there. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, is there anything else anyone wants to do in town before we head? To I mean, I think I think we were planning on potentially being back in town in the middle of the day anyway yeah. for mm -hmm. um repairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, did I get an idea of? Sella, Sella. Dave, the thing I asked you about, which yes. I'm not saying directly, on stream. Uh, mm -hmm. how is that? Was that a like tomorrow? Day? Did they... You probably need one more day. Okay. You would expect tomorrow sometime will be will be okay. appropriate. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that will be on my my list of things for the next day. Perfect. Okay. One day more. Uh, you can you can gather Doctor Parsons, who as he uh, <laughs> as he leaves is clearly <laughs> exhausted. We're singing by. I got it. Uh, is clearly exhausted, and you can all make your way out towards uh, the Stornley House. Um, uh, heading out towards there, uh, you can see that this is a very old house. Uh, it is Mrs. Havering that actually has the line through to nobility. Nathaniel Havering uh, was a tradesman who's. Made, a merchant who made his success and, and came back here. Uh, and this has uh, some sections of the house that have actually sort of date back all the way through to medieval times. Um, as you arrive, you can see there is plenty of staff and servants. There are carriages out the front and uh, staff that can receive you. Dr. Parsons was expected. Um, you will be received by Mrs. Avering. Uh, who uh, takes you each inside. This is Susanna Havering. Uh, she very much has the keepings of nobility and she is very strict on etiquette and the structures through it to the point that I'm going to ask all four of you to make etiquette roles to basically see if you can manoeuvre through this situation. This is definitely the touchiest one. Uh, sorry, one more quick thing before you do those roles. Can I make it charm? No, this is going to be ed. I'm in oh. You know what? Yes, you can. However, I'm going to be applying you. roles based on everyone's reputation because some of you... Oh, they have yes. bonus or penalty dies. Does anyone have above 60 or 60 or above? I used to. <laughs> yeah, until you were a... Are you, how much, is it just the, the stuff you lost in the, in the most yeah, recent Yeah, I lost two points then. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, not, I'm still going to stick that for the time being. Yeah, it may recover later. All right, and is if anyone... I win it back, it'd be a thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is anyone below 35, I believe it is? Heck yeah. 
Okay. Uh, you are going to have a penalty dice, Miss Radcliffe, so you are not nice. nice. Jim, you, you could probably generally gain, like, one back. I know that doesn't do it, but, like, that's the progress of, you know, you've begun to ease no, that over. No, I big understand. Time. I'll, I'll take that one back happily, but, yeah, I'll be looking for an opportunity to try and social climb, as Regency, I think, suits very well, because yeah. I can. Yeah, it'll be a significant benefit if I can get find an excuse to get a point. 100%. Uh, so penalty dice for Miss Radcliffe. Everyone else uh, straight rolls. How have we gone here? Absolutely failed. Okay, oh, terrific. Poorly, very poorly. I succeeded. And Welcome to the struggle bus. Reverend Jesus also failed. Okay, the only success is from Mr. Potterton. Unless, I think unless we're the talking Reverend about some just... I'm so much less charming than I think I am today. <laughs> yeah, I think I think honestly the Reverend's thing is not so much like. He, he's clearly relatively good in most situations. He's just tired and yep. not very talkative, and that and comes across like, as a bit like rude, even though that's the not Reverend's the better in a crisis. The Reverend, the Reverend is the guy who you want when you're upset in a crisis. Like he's the calming and in the presence. shadow realm. <laughs> in 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 like at the front door. Okay. Yeah. Also, kind of the Reverend showing up when, like, the Doctor showing up when someone is ill. Fair enough. The Reverend showing up when Ooh, someone is ill. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> bad look. Bad look. Yeah. Not not <laughs> the yeah, best. Yeah. Not the best. Yeah. So I, I I absolutely am fine if she just is Whoops. quite cold and disinterested in engaging with me as like a as as an offshoot of yep. this, and I just am like I can't I can't really talk to yeah. her. Which is, and, yeah. and me by proxy. Hundred yeah. percent. Uh. So um. The three of you that failed, unless anyone wants to push this or spend what? luck, basically you're not going to... Nathaniel Havering is in a compromised state. You will not be asked in to join. George, you are welcome to accompany the doctor and see him and, and, and sit by his side as is... The rest of you, you will be welcomed and seated inside where you can remain. One That's thing I'll fine. just point out briefly, this is probably most relevant for Miss Radcliffe. You've been able to kind of finagle your way through a few etiquette interactions so far. The Pottertons are pretty nice people and a little down on their luck. And um, Susanna Havering is like proper etiquette rules, like really strict on them. And you do find yourself a little bit outclassed just in the, your training never got this far, you know? You actually mm. probably just take the L and avoid this situation to not uh, draw too much attention to yourself. I'll be good. She yeah. was also from the, the the their story was she's from very like serious nobility and married somebody who wasn't. That's um, right. So it, it's possible that you know she's met she she's very familiar with the kind of person who has adopted the you know born in a mm. whatever yes. nobility. Yes, she can spot an actor maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I would like also that. suspect that like if she's if she was the one who ca who came from like lineage but had to marry in order to maintain money. I suspect that would that I could see a world where the personality that comes out of that is I uphold all of the etiquette and rules to an extreme because I don't want anyone su suggesting mm. that I'm somehow lower class because of who I married. Yeah. How dare you? We maintain all like it's yeah. almost an an excessive use of rules. Yeah, to she's offset. she's got to overcompensate. Yeah. 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 Um. So. Uh... This part of it, and you'll be taken in. And also, then the other ones, I do think it's funny. Yeah, the optics on the Reverend coming. So you'll probably be asked of like, they have an attached chapel. Would you like to pray there? Uh... <laughs> you know what? I think if it if it means like that, I don't do more damage to the situation. Yeah. And you can maybe have a little be... snooze. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think I will go and be like, uh, thank you. I would, I would, uh, you know, I, I, I would be very uh, appreciative of a, of a quiet place to yeah. um to to pray um and obviously like ask for the blessing of the lord upon this house yeah. etc um just you'll like, disappear I'm yeah. like, I'm, uh, I'm, if yeah, the tired, others want to if the others want to go with you like you can go there and basically the three of you can be by yourselves a bit and just chat and to genuinely rest a little bit it's a quiet area otherwise you're welcome to stay in the parlor and be attended to by some of the servants. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll extend But none of the Haverings will be there, Miss Havering. Um, okay, yeah, no, I'll also chapel. We may as well compare notes while okay. while George is being useful. Awesome. All right, then. Uh, so, um, uh, and I think I'll miss Radcliffe, if you, if you would like to attend us to the to the chapel for a a, a, a brief of moment of, of prayer and reflection. Otherwise, um, of course, you're welcome to stay here. No, no, no I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go where the party goes. Also genuinely looking forward to a little bit of a rest. <laughs> Several of you did not get enough sleep last night. Yes, indeed. I'll take any opportunity for a sit. Okay. 
All right, uh, Mr. Potterton, uh, you accompany Susanna and Dr. Parsons uh, as you uh, move through. Susanna uh, is uh, grateful to the doctor for attending. Um, she asks after the others who have fallen well, unwell, and remarks that it's a curious path this infection has taken, that being many lower class people and Nathaniel, who is very much separate to that. Uh, and and she kind of like hones in on like there's no there there's no reason why this should have spread to this. It seems quite remarkable and entirely unrelated. Uh, when she learns that one of the uh, uh, John Pilling has passed, but Maggie has woken, she more focuses on the good news of it, but does give a very customary like a shame to hear. Uh, she's with the Lord. Um, Heading into... Uh... I can backtrack a bit. I probably go where Dr. Parsons wants because I was I was yeah. there when one Actually, patient yes. woke up and one patient died. So That's what was true. Dr. Genuinely, Reagan? Dr. Parsons possibly forgets to a level as well because he's so tired and he's just yeah. focusing on things. Uh, he's not going to... He's not going to... This is not the one to try and join in on. He will just say, join the others in the chapel. We can call on you right. if, if you wish. That's he's fine. also still confirmed also, by the fact that it was at most a 50% hit rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Also, like, the doctor, while respected, sure. if a very well-to-do woman says, you are not well, like, the doctor's there. not going to yeah. say... That's true. How about no, though? <laughs> It'll be, like, what about unless my... he has... What about the witch yeah. I've got? Yeah, the work of the other one. <laughs> Uh, he I might think the only it. time he would step would be if it's like a life or death and he's like, no, we, this will save someone. But yeah. if the person in charge is like, no, then you, as a as a doctor, you can't, you yeah. can't go against that without seriously risking your own reputation. So, yeah, that's okay. okay. I'm ready for a sit. Um, so, George, you uh, head into the Havering's bedroom. It's a large, quite well-dressed thing. It definitely has the like old, old moderate wealth that's carried through and they've continued to kind of hold on to it. Whereas yours was probably grander at some point and has now dropped under them. They were always lower and have kind of maintained the hold. And also generally then some new money coming in from uh, Nathaniel that is kind of added on top of that. So they're actually quite well to do at this point. Um, seated or lying down in one of these four persons bed is Nathaniel Havering. Once a very sort of like kind of you had the impression of a little bit larger than life and a bit boisterous. Part of that's just his lower class and him trying to fit in, but genuinely well-liked. A uh, man who is now definitely beginning to fade quite significantly. You can see this, like, the gaunt cheekbones, having basically slept for four or five days now. Uh, and uh, a slight fluttering of the eyelids as um, Susanna goes over to it, holds his hands, and Dr. Parsons begins to do his checks. Um, is there anything you'd like? Uh, yes, I, 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 first of all, I, I play the basic level of just supporting yep. uh, Dr. Parson. I will wait ideally for a moment when it's just the two of us. And then because we both were there um, when we saw Miss Radcliffe the same thing, uh, I might say, I say, I'll just. I, I would say you're unlikely to get just the two of you. Suzanne's going to stay with her husband while people are ending to him. Unless you, unless you create that situation. Hmm. It's a good point. Um, in which case I might just, I, I, I will say, uh, I will, I will, I will just probably say to Dr. Parson, should we say, say any of the same words? I probably just flat out ask him. He's going to say, the water. It's, we can look over him perhaps. Has he said anything strange in his dreams, Mrs. Havering? She'll say he's spoken sometimes screamed late at night but no no just nonsense nothing of significance he's gonna say trees anything of that like perhaps trees yes i i, I think something like that been mentioned he's quiet now though has been for a day or more it's been two nights since last he was loud he's gonna take over he's gonna crane him right over and listening to it he just hears faint breath no words um, Susanna's going to turn to you as as he's going through like some of his routines and, and go, Mr. Potterton, I understand the young lady, Miss Radcliffe, staying with you. She's been unwell? She suffered from a similar affliction, but has woken. It's... I'd, um, is there any theory as to how it's spreading? What the connection is between the people? It's 
I wouldn't remark more upon it, but I think it's curious that two people separate from Tarryford, as much as anywhere else, have um, avoided it, while several people within it have caught it. Well, the only information we have, and I, I decide I'm not going to kind of lean into a bunch of the suspicious theories we have. It feels like not the time to throw away. But the, the only the only information that we definitively have is that it's not behaving normally. Uh, Dr. Parson and I did an examination of, well, we've done some research into uh, the uh, the deceased, effectively, and people close to each other are not necessarily developing it the same way. Uh, it's unusual. It, it, we, we, we should not be true. We, the, the, uh, unfortunately, I, I think sta the, the, this, our standard understanding of, of, of how these things may spread doesn't apply necessarily. And your standard understanding is? Well, the standard, anyone in close proximity will, is, is at risk. Yes. Which, which is to say, you, well, you that's are hardly, likely not. Yes, and there's no circumstances. It's hardly right, perhaps the labourer, but there'd be no there'd be no reason for any of these to... Well, yes, that's hardly appropriate. Hmm. Your companion, Miss Radcliffe, she woke. Do you know the circumstances? She, uh... She complained of strange fever dreams, and uh... Similar fever dreams afflicted everybody else, which is why we've, uh, we, we, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that there may be some ability to contact people in that state, I suppose. It's speak to them, be near them, be ready, uh, things like that. If she seems at all receptive, what I'm, what I might, I, like, would I, I, I would, my ultimate angle just to, to flag direction will be to try and, uh, I, I'd love to be like, okay, here's this stimulant that we got together because I mentioned to Dr. Parson, put a stimulant together, wait till he next starts screaming, and then you need to hit him with the stimulant and say, drink water, drink water, over and over again. The That's blue water from the lake. The... Get, get to yeah. the lake, drink, yeah, the, drink um, the blue water. Uh, she's not... I, go, I, go ahead and give, I, can I you give me a psychology roll. I think I can push it that far yeah. because I think she's more suspicious than uh, cooperative. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a psychology roll, please. Sure, I've got 10 in that, but uh, okay, I think well, that feels you know. appropriate. Coming right up in three, two, here we go. That is a failure. Yeah. Uh, hard to read. And you're, you you, she, you definitely get the impression that she's driving this conversation wherever she wants to go. She's getting a little bit of information and then she's dipping out. Uh, you could maybe give the... You reckon you could get away with giving the stimulant and straightforward instructions. Shouting, drink the clear blue water will not fall yeah. into that category. The stimulants yeah. and when next he begins to speak, maybe, but yeah. you'd need to I, make a roll to persuade that. I, yeah, the the idea when he if he starts screaming and hitting with the stimulant is because we have the theory of like you're in the dream world being chased by a monster is the idea of okay get get him a bit faster. Yeah. Um. So we can maybe get away, but also it gives the chance that his heart might conk out at that point if he just starves to death. Do, um, do you want to tell her that you're gonna need to make a social roll? I don't Persuade think I do. I think I think or yeah, Edison. Okay. I, I don't think I do. I think I think that I, I, I can see. Dr. Parsons is not I, one for yeah. giving random drugs more than necessary, so isn't going to suggest it at the time. And also, he seems to be in. He as as Dr. Parsons steps up, and after a little while of, of inspection, says he seems to be in a, the same state as he was previously. Continue to give him as much broth as he can and let him rest. Stay with him, speak with him, and hopefully he'll return us to to us soon. Two have woken. This thing is not unbeatable. Let him have your strength and hopefully he will rise. Uh, Mr. Potterton, I think we can leave. Certainly. Is there a, was there any opportunity for us to flag like information that we were hoping to get in this moment, even Absolutely. though we're not in the scene? Absolutely. I will, yes, yes, uh, what would you like? Just specifically- Might, be, might uh, have been if, noticed. If it was possible to, if it was, if it wasn't, I am curious if Havering was at the uh, tavern at any point over the last few weeks. That's just like uh, I Contact think. Contact tracing. Um, uh, just, just to like as an as a, is it possible? You could. There you were a few could, people. That but, uh, Mr. Potterton has unfortunately a little bit lost the control of the conversation, and okay. it's not something she's bringing. You could ask the staff and see if you could follow it in that way. Many of them would drive carriages; they would know if people had gone into Tarryford. Um, it's I a think... bit lower class, so unlikely. 
Um, um, I will also add, while you're doing that, can I get the three of you, Reverend, Miss Radcliffe, and Miss Wentworth, to roll luck checks? Ooh. While those luck checks are going, Dave, I'll say very quickly. Cool, as, cool, 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 cool. As I head out, I've got a little bit of sleight of hand. What I would like to do is is to deliberately <laughs> try and leave my pen, my handkerchief, my something that I, I would be able to get as we're in the hall. I just go, oh, sorry. May I quickly, just so I have enough time to lean by the body and go, the water, the water, drink yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do you want to make a sleight of hand roll? Yes, yes. Actually, let's, um, James, actually, hold on that. We're at, actually, yeah, yeah, do that first. Let's, let's resolve that. That's amazing. I love any chance of sleight of hand to be in there. It's a fail. You can push um, this. This is going to be reputation. I'll do it. This I is just, you. I just fumbled, so you just, just do uh, your thing. Uh, oh, you fumbled. Join me. How yes. much? Fumbling oh, luck checks. We love to do it. No, I think I actually won't this time. I I I got burnt too bad last time blowing up my blowing up my young yeah. uh, young Georgina. Now I'm playing the less the, the inferior. This is George, George, not Georgiana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. Uh, got two fewer <laughs> syllables to to cope with these situations, so you got to be more careful with them. Exactly. Yeah. You fail. You you have this thought, but don't find the opportunity. And elsewhere, um, what was that? Uh? Three last symbols. It was Georgiana, not Georgiana. Oh, yeah, so George and oh. Georgiana. So George truly, George. truly, the depths of my loss. I sometimes forget how. <laughs> so I'm seeing a success, a failure, and a fumble, which is cool as hell. Uh, so uh, we, we aim for variety here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resolve the first. First of all, Miss Radcliffe, you having a, you genuinely are having a little snooze in one of the pews. Uh, there's a yes. chance to rest, and you're having the best time. Uh, Miss Wentworth, you're the most awake and sort of walking around the area and like theory crafting a little bit, talking to the Reverend. Reverend, you've assumed your sort of position of uh, most comfort, I guess. Like you sort of like walk around, you idly go to stand behind uh the what's the freaking thing not the altar lectern? maybe maybe use the, the the lectern and when you're there you're looking down and Probably you see another word for a religious lectern but yeah. it's 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 close enough it's it's good enough for me pulpit, pulpit? would be a thing pulpit. you stand but that's where you stand in it's it might have a like a, a surface for a book to be put on but yeah, the pulpit, pulpit is like pulpit is the platform you stand on yeah mm. Yeah. Um, don't also, worry, I'm not we'll, sure we'll that figure this out. Just, yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah. give us a minute. Or hammer two. it in, hammer it in. That's important. That's fine. Um, as as you're uh, as you're standing there, you note that the uh, before it, there's like the stone altar, whatever the, the the stone thingy in front of it, the pulpit, and it's old. It, this thing is genuinely pushing on towards like medieval when this chapel and the house attached were built, and you note a strange symbol carved into the back of it which looks almost like a ripple in water. And although Miss Radcliffe does not see it yet, it is the same symbol, ancient, carved into the stone. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a snooze. I'm going to need you to make a power roll. And Miss Wentworth, as you spot the same one, I'm going to need you to make a power roll with the uh, penalty dice. Who guess who doesn't have any power? When I say I'm professionally pretty, that's literally what <laughs> I'm <word>. not joking. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I Yeah, look. Okay, you want a power Okay, not a fumble. <sighs> Which stream success bite me. Okay. Um you both feel a wash of apathy, emptiness as if basically your entire inside fills with cold water and then flushes out of you leaving you completely completely hollow. Uh, Reverend, you're able to shake yourself out of it, but Miss Wentworth, you tumble forwards into this thing and out the other side where you find yourself in a small claustrophobic room filled with pack earth, roots and stones, and above you, a stone um, uh, capstone with the same sigil mm. inscribed above. Uh, I'm going to ask each of you to make sanity rolls. Actually, uh, Reverend, not for you, just for you, Miss Wentworth. Can you make a sanity roll? And from the outside, Miss Radcliffe and Reverend, uh, Miss Wentworth stands and basically goes into an almost standing sleep, uh, completely unreactive. Oh, no. oh no. eyes closed. So like actually, I'm like still, so I'm uh, no, still eyes, busy. eyes, sort of like half open and blinking ever so slightly Trance. as she seems to slumber, slumber unreactive. Yeah. You love you so love I'm, going I'm in into a, other dimensions, Miss Wentworth. So I'm, yeah, I'm it's physically, so I'm physically still there. I'm just. 
Just having a break. Yeah. Uh, can I Mentally, get you to make a at the can you do a sanity roll, please, um, Alex? Yeah. This is fine. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get you to take one point, please. And the rest. Uh, and you find yourself. So outside, uh, immediately, Reverend and Miss Radcliffe, what are your reactions? Miss Radcliffe, it takes you a moment to stir, but Reverend, you see this immediately. Is it clear that she's like... Is it clear that she's in some kind of like hypnosis or stupor or like it, it is very clearly that something's wrong and not that she's got gotten distracted? Yeah, by something? yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, something's say, wrong. You, you, I, you turn. I would and you have been s- chattering constantly. Yeah, like, and I'm not a quiet person. Episode. You see this feel. You see this feel unwell and possibly instinctively reach out to a person for a bit of comfort. Take her out and she is completely unresponsive. Okay, then I think probably, I, my immediate reaction would be. Miss Wentworth, Emma, are, are you are you all right? And uh, Jane would hear this as like a there there is some distinct distress. Yep. Um As as the Reverend is trying to like work out what the hell is going on. Um. I don't <laughs> know. Is she clearly staring at the same symbol? Yes, she's looking right at it. Um. If I can join them, yeah. See that symbol. And I have a bonus die to make a power roll to jump in and pull her out since I've done yeah. it once before. As Ooh. you as as you look at it and begin to glance, you can feel it sort of pulling you. You get a wash of cold and you can go ahead and make a power roll with a bonus die. Hard success, all I need. Okay. Um, you begin to, to reach out and uh, go towards it and you feel yourself tumble forward. You find yourself in the same cavern alone. There is the capstone no. above you, and uh, the packed earth that surrounds. Didn't work. We're really looking at the same symbol. It's not here. Okay. For a moment, Re- Reverend, from your perspective, you see Miss Radcliffe stand perfectly yeah. still. Well, I was going to say, well. with a hard success, can I can I jump in, jump out real quick? Matt, you can once again reach up, try and touch the other one, and kind of pull yourself back out of it, only going in briefly, having a chance to reaffirm. There is a feeling of being in a different space while you're there. It does. You you yeah. can you definitely feel like you're in it, but once you step back out, you're in the exact same spot. The Reverend can verify that you did not move, um, and it's done so, briefly so. enough that you're only there for a little moment, in and out. Um, and the different space has the same sense as yes. As the it seems to be it seemed to be the same one you were in uh, previously, like just last night. It seemed to be the same one, like same oh. uh, same array of earth and things. And you also have the I feeling mean, as the as the as the sickness dream that space. The woods. There's the, a, there's a the the feeling lake. of emptiness, but no, this felt more real. There's okay. like a coldness to it, but this this felt real. That really did feel like you were in that space immediately. Um. That that's you to be doing some brief action. So Miss Wentworth, you're sort of trapped in this like small, claustrophobic little space bound by roots. What is your instinct? What are you trying to do? Well, the capstone's above me, right? Yep. There's like a stone above me. Yep. I'm gonna try and climb up them roots and hit and, and give that stone a shovey shove. Okay. Uh, you don't even need to climb. Does it you, have... st- you you don't have the space to stand oh, in here. Just getting onto that. your back and pushing against it. Can you please give me a strength roll? Once again. Not, not what I'm great at. But hey, look, desperation. Okay. Nice. Um, you uh reach up, put your back against it, and heave on it. You're looking down at the packed earth where you can see your feet pushing against mm-hmm. it, and you realize you're not wearing the dress that you were wearing. You're wearing like a night shift and um like slippers that are like Ugh. sliding slightly in the middle. as you heave against it suddenly the capstone pushes upwards breaks away you stand to your full height and find yourself in a black stone space with dark ica trees rising up to the skies the ground is remarkably similar to the dark realm that you explored one year prior and directly in front of you is this huge black creature with immense bat-like wings slicing up to the sky above a faceless head and a long tongue emerging from its neck that lashes out towards you you let out a scream and startle back awake in the chapel, but not before taking a sanity hit, if you could please roll. That's cool. 
Uh, and when is you come back- Is it a sanity back, check or am I just gonna take a hit? A sanity this? check, sorry, sanity check. And when you emerge, you are letting out a scream. This is cool, this is fine. This is great, I love this. Um, let me see how much you're gonna take for this. Yeah. I think we might be in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are gonna take, uh, you are gonna take one point with a hard success, uh, so still like- I did that take as a regular but, success. Uh, sorry, with a regular success, still, still one point. So you are, you, you are able to handle it more or less as you would let out a scream. Fine. And then, uh, the other side, uh, you have a moment, people are gonna come soon. That was a, that was a yell. Unless you actually like grab her and clamp her, her hand, um, the others will, uh, arrive shortly. Um, you have a short moment before staff appear. No, I, I mean, I don't think I stop her screaming, but I certainly like- grab her and like make sure she's okay yeah it was and the place it was the place it was the same place it was the same place it was the it was the same place it was the realm the, 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 from last year it was the same place and there's a thing in there and it's big and it's got wings and it's and it wants to hurt us and it's there and it's the same place uh, uh, miss um emma i gotta get my gun <laughs> i <laughs> i think at that point the reference like oh Oh, you're okay. I mean, that's a, that's a problem, but you're okay. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't wearing my clothes. I was wearing like a night dress and, and we slippers. Need, we need uh, uh, Miss uh, Miss Wentworth, uh, uh, Emma, Emma, there. Miss Emma, my dear. You just made a very loud scream, and some people are oh. going to ask why. So, um, we should go. Well, I don't know. If we we have to leave. Just if people do, they come, know I... they've got this here. Or did they put this here? Because if they put this here, then they're in on it. Hey, Miss Radcliffe, how did? What, what on earth? You also disappeared. Why are you? What's going on? Miss Ragnar was very brief, in and out, and I think genuinely, if Jackson, did you want to do it unnoticed? Uh, because you were more focused on Miss Wentworth. Up, up, up to you. I definitely you. wanted to be be quick. Do, do like, you want it as quick as I could? Genuinely, can you can you give me a quick? Can you give me a, an acting or or similar role to so you can just pass off acting, the thing? Acting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then I was just, focused enough on Miss Wentworth that I didn't even notice. What I was at, that said, Miss Radcliffe, what are you doing immediately? Are you going over to look at it closer? Are you standing by and helping yeah. with Wentworth? I guess I'm more interested in the symbol. It's the okay. same symbol. It is. Um, is it hand carved? How long has it, it been here? Is it part of the construction? So looking at it, so as as Reverend is uh, James is comforting Emma and. You know, just saying we're going to need to be a little careful. You will look over it, and all of you will become aware of this information. It's old. Like, it's, like, oh. faded, chipped, worn away. It's part of the... It looks like it was part of the... You know, this is part of the brickwork. That said, it looks as though normally there would be a, like, cloth over the whole thing. And then possibly even, you can see towards the sides, there is a plate that should be fixed over it that is missing and appears to have been removed semi-recently, you see a, like, a chip of stone nearby where it may have been taken off. Uh, Miss Radcliffe, can you give me a spot hidden roll, please? Oh. Okay. You see that, you see I the cannot. chip off towards the side? You could push this. <clears throat> that will be being found, basically, looking over this as the staff comes in and possibly risking reputation or being, being, uh, booted out. Or possibly I, I could think... see overplaying your hand in front of Reverend Jennings and Miss Wentworth mm -hmm. and possibly showing a bit of familiarity with this. I think I'm ready for my uh, long-awaited reputation freefall. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm all for it. I don't mind if uh, Miss Wentworth and the Reverend yeah. see so what I, I'm up to now. I think now. this is a little brazen. Uh, go ahead and make yeah. that spot hidden roll again. No. Not a fumble. Looking think, over no, it. Not a fumble. Uh, Reverend, you come up Miss Wentworth, and then Miss Radcliffe makes no steps towards checking in on Emma. She steps down the thing, like hikes up her dress, drops to her knees, and like scuffs them slightly as she begins mm. to just pat along it. And you're genuinely, you, you, it looks as though someone like inspecting the underside of a carriage or something. It is most unladylike. And genuinely out of character not just like this person's weird like the character's not there a little bit it's actually quite jarring uh miss radcliffe uh as you have a quick look over it unfortunately the doors open and mr potterton you are walking nearby with the others when you hear a yell that you recognize as miss wentworth uh dr parsons looks up and starts and uh susanna realizing it coming from the uh the chapel begins to head towards that and some staff will convene shortly there will be a not insignificant gathering of people inside the storm okay. chapel i think 
think we should Jane, make you tripped. Jane, exit. Jane, Jane, you, Jane, you tripped. The, there was a rip in your dress and you tripped and I'm helping you and I'm going to drop down next fine, to Jane. Fine, fine. The door fine. opens, staff comes in and uh, Mrs. Havering uh, 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 calls out, uh, what was the scream? Who's hurt? Um, my dear Jane, it, it tripped on the hem of her Just dress. She, the poor dear, uh, you may have heard how she came faint. into town. I'm well and... She's still faint. feeling a little bit faint, and I'm, as I'm helping her up, I'm going to be gripping around pretty tightly and just basically like hissing in her ear. We need to talk. Yes. Get out of here. Yes. 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 No. I'm I'm quite all right now, and and Miss, uh, I, I'm I'm very sorry that I startled Miss Wentworth so much. Uh, I can imagine I I, I I I must be quite out of sorts, and I do apologise. Well, I'll I take a fast talk. understand, but this is a place for reflection. I'm sorry to hear you're unwell, but perhaps you'd be better in bed than here. Um, mm -hmm. Doctor Parsons, thank you for your attendance, and um, if you'd all like to leave, uh, Miss Wentworth, do you want to go ahead and give me a fast talk roll to sell it, and then this is possibly going to be a small reputation hit for Miss. Radcliffe, regardless. Uh, and also for me, if they so figure out I'm spare. lying, but yeah. you know. Hey! Nice. Okay, Ooh. genuinely, you're able to maneuver it around. Miss Radcliffe, the, I'm gonna, this is not gonna be a reputation, right? You genuinely are unwell. This is more gonna be towards suspicion from the Reverend and Miss Wentworth that something is a little bit more amiss here. Um, you also will kind of get a little cut short on further investigation as you are escorted out from it, um, unless there's anything final anyone wants to do and will be acting. This would be like pushing it a little bit, stealthy, things like that. Uh, Jim. Speaking of, everyone starts running. There's a loud noise. Oh, hey. I duck back into the room. Can I get a bonus die on a stealth check James to Idol, back in and you say are thing? a genius. Yeah, make a stealth check with a bonus die. I love that so much. Extreme Oh success. my god. <laughs> oh, it is man. genuinely, Fantastic. no one even realizes you aren't here yet as you slide back inside the room. And on that extreme, you can have, you can have like, you can have the vial of the the stuff if you want it. You come back into the room and close the door behind you. It's almost completely quiet inside here with everyone else in the house heading towards the chapel and pacing across the ground. You are reminded of the corpses in the morgue beneath with how still Havering is, but there is a faint rise and fall from his chest and uh, no words coming from his mouth. I, I, I do it quickly. I, I don't. I wasn't there in the in the place, so I don't know what the procedure is. I just know that it's drink the water. So I get close, bend down, and like it's much more. Bruce gets. I, I hiss in his ear. Drink the Bruce water. Get, you get will the get lake. out if you drink the clear blue water. I repeat exactly. Um, Can you give me yeah, a get power the roll? Get through the woods. Get to the yeah. lake. Drink the water. I, I I I was there. It was burned into my mind. So yeah, I, I say that. Um, and and if I see like no reaction, I probably hit him with the thing hit to try and like show like you need to pay attention. And they drink, get to the lake, drink the water, and then I hurry away so I can't be linked to the crime. Ideally. Okay. Uh, can you give me a power roll, please? Sure. Power. That is a success. Okay. Nice. On a success, you say this, and there is no visible reaction. You can try the drugs. Um. Uh, sure. Can I get a bonus die if I if I do it with the drugs? The drugs are gonna. You're not in. It not. It's not turning into a bonus dice. It's okay. having effects. I'm factoring it in. It's mm -hmm. not applying to this. That's sure. an independent choice you can make. Uh. uh do we, uh, I can luck it to a heart. It's just. It's a. It's a big. Miss Radcliffe got an extreme on her. Yeah. Is one thing I will say. And it's and there is no reaction. You are at this point just talking to a man who is unresponsive. Yeah, you're right. Um, you can try the drugs. Maybe if he's a little bit more awake. Yeah, maybe. Or uh, maybe I'm... you're. Or maybe you are applying very dodgy drugs to a person you do not understand the situation. And yeah. to remind, one of the people died. But he's having fun. Yeah, he's getting out there. Live the, your life. The, the risk, if it's something that Potterson would think about in this moment, there is a risk that if you do this, the doctor takes the fall. Exactly. Um, How much does George get carried away? Yes. He seems like the kind of guy. I think, I think I I think he's recent he's already recently done like two things in a row being like, I pull it back a bit, so I think I do. I don't hit him with the drugs. I stand up, I look over the body, I take to tense my fingers, I, I, I put them over where I think approximately that little black bulge is in his stomach if he was going to be uh, autopsied, and I jab it oh. once. Not hard enough to hurt him, but just like just enough to screw that thing. I say just it one more happens. time. 
and then I'll dart out. And you leave. Uh, all the while you're there, there's no response from Mr. Havering. Even the jab to the stomach doesn't get a reaction. Uh, he is in deep slumber and it's as if he does not respond. Uh, you palm the vial and retreat back out of the room. And James, unless necessary, uh, Dr. Parsons has more. I'm just going to assume you have a vial of this now, unless you want to return it to him. And this can I, be kind I'm of happy quickly for forgotten. Yeah, I, I ideally like to not be linked to there's a missing vial yeah, kind no, of thing. Yeah, no, 100%. He made, he made a bit. This He's genuinely so sleep deprived. Like, you can, mm. that's that's with you. And that can be part of this. So I, I can cool. actually fix that now, funnily yeah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, something for that. You uh, head back out uh, and join the others, and no one will even realize that you're missing as you, as you all head, um, as you all reconvene out the front, um, gathering uh, with Dr. Parsons as well. He's clearly heavily sleep deprived uh and he's saying he needs to get back into town to check in on the others perhaps it's time that he paid uh mr tavistock a visit uh over with reverend choke or or perhaps it's it's uh moral soulsmith and wife sarah um he's gonna go and check back in on the others and return to his work i'm going to make a suggestion that after that quite uh, energetic display we all take a moment um Tea, perhaps at the uh, rectory. Let's. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not letting go of Jane's arm. <laughs> um, you like... are gonna go through Tarryford to get anywhere. That includes the North Lakes. That includes uh, Mortview House, and that includes uh, the Upper Tarryford Church. You want to go through Tarryford, or do you want? Or you could stop somewhere nearby, or you could. Um... What would you like to do? I. Th- Look, we're all my, in the same carriage. My 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 main aim at this point is to go somewhere slightly quiet that yep. is private, that we are able to uh, that I'm able to speak to Miss Wentworth about what happened because I still don't know what happened to her. She just came up and went. It's the same place, and I definitely want Mr. Potterton and Miss Radcliffe there because Miss Radcliffe. I, I have at least put together it's the same place seems to apply to Miss Radcliffe's dream. Yeah. Outside of that, as far as the good reverend is concerned, he has no fucking idea what's yep. going on and would like to know, please. So he just uh, wants to kind of take everywhere somewhere quiet and safe to like go, okay, what just happened? You can please explain for. and let me take in the same way that he was very keen to get Miss Radcliffe to write down what happened to her. He wants a record of what's mm. going on, because without records, like, he's a man of the church. They keep a lot of mm. records. It's yeah. all about, like, noting births, deaths, marriages, the important things. He wants Without them. records, the yep. next people who come up against this nonsense are going to be in the dark. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Um, um, I think the easiest would be the carriages are nearby. You have a short walk to them. Dr. Bass is going to return into town, and if you want, you can call upon mm. his his surgery to speak with him more. But he will he will leave for the time being. As the four of you head towards the carriages, you have a chance to talk, and then you can head wherever you want to go. Whether yeah. and you'll is, go through Tarryford, whether that's into Tarryford, into Tarryford. Is my estate now. is my estate near here? <clears throat> Yours is a bit Yours more out of around. town, I think we established. You can head there, yeah. but it would be a it would be a little bit okay. of a ways oh, away. Yeah, I was going to say if it's if it's between here and town, or if it's near here and town, then yes, but no, otherwise. Yeah, maybe I, I think I think a little near further the up. Chapel. Uh, you, maybe, at this point, maybe we go via um, the, the 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 rectory, and yeah, that would be genuinely go through Tarryford for it. The one that made the most is just have a conversation, kind of on the road, and, and with yeah. all of you, and then you can retire somewhere more to to, to speak. I think a yeah. conversation here would be good because, as well, I've noticed the only thing that we are really close to genuinely, without having to go on another trip, is Stornley. Uh, sorry, we are at Stornley House, yes. I believe, which yeah. is where the Haverings are on the local, on the Tarryford map. We're really near Charlton Abbey. Uh, the the that is uh, where the which ashes is, are. It, oh my bad. I thought no, I thought that was like Abbey. You, you see where I made the yes, mistake? I, I thought can. it might have been. I was the other just church. looking at that uh, on yeah. my book. <laughs> yeah, no, his is in, his is in town. Never mind. All all well then. Let's. Um, let's I'll pass it to the four of you. Have a conversation. I, I think yeah, the walk and then the carriage will do it. You've uh, seen that symbol before, haven't you? Yes. Yes, yes. I think so. It it, it must have been. Uh, well, sometime. Oh, drop it, Jane. Mm-hmm. Last Whoa. few days. I'm sorry. I, I'm a little you behind. Dropped your knees and started crawling around on the floor, looking at chips of stone. And looking at this this symbol that dragged me into 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 a hole in the ground that was somehow connected to the other world that I was in the last year that killed my sister, so just drop it. Right. Oh well. 
I I just thought I got a sense that that symbol is what's making people sick, and perhaps there was some clue as to who put it there, and perhaps we can find more. Where did you see it before? I, I it must have been in in my dream. Um, in your dream, where out. did you see it? But where did you that, see that carved stone symbol before? It was in your dream, was it? Uh, yes, yes, carved on a. On, 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 on stone slabs, I think, of some kind. It's, it's all a mess, you understand. It's, it was, it and what, was a long what, three days. what made you decide that dropping to your knees on the ground in the home of a well-to-do family was the right choice? I, I don't pretend to be in my right mind or, or that I fully understand what, what sensations and thoughts and feelings were seizing me in that moment. I, I just... Like... May I... May I make a psychology roll? Yep. All, th all, 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 all three of you can. Uh, do, is there is there any bonus dice at all uh, based on the circumstances or uh no but these gonna be sure i'm but i'm miss Rackle is not gonna roll this is just gonna get a sense of how much information you get from the current circumstances you you've, you've drawn the illusion as tightly as you can yeah. is the chance for some of it to on fall a failure I st I'll, I'll start to say like is, is this the same you know uh <laughs> Uh, the same, the same instinct that got you to speak up and, and wake, uh, wake, Dave. wake the. Um, Dave, uh, I got, yep. Dave, I got an extreme success. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone else heard. I, I, yeah, I just yeah, yeah, just yeah. As a, yeah. Uh, I'm so, going to be real quiet for this combo. <laughs> uh, so as as his opponent, wait, wait, genuinely, Miss Radcliffe is good and does draw closer. Reverend, you saw a facade drop a little bit, and you got the sense of someone else. That said. She did seem really, and like, it wasn't like obsession. It was a little bit of like scared about what she was looking at. Curious, un like enthralled by it. There wasn't like, oh, this is a, a cultist obsessed by something. This isn't someone being like, no. return to me. This is someone who knows a bit more about it. And as she's talking, there's a little bit of like, she lays the groundwork quickly and almost too well. She's inventing things. She's tying things back to stuff. She's lying, though. She's she knows more than she's letting on, and now it's beginning to you're beginning to get a little bit of a sense of you had underestimated this woman somewhat, and she is a lot more capable and a lot more aware of things than you've necessarily given her credit for. Um, on the extreme, I'll kind of pass it a little bit from here on out to you and Jackson to decide what yeah. further you might want to discuss or, or be aware of. I may leave it in your hands. Uh, just don't, I, don't, I, I wouldn't. don't behave like that again because I lied for you and that's where I'll like let her go yeah, and yeah. kind of I will probably walk ahead in a bit of a half I think with an extreme I think it's reasonable that you'd probably know that I didn't just see like I'm talking about that symbol in the house making people sick I think from that you could probably pick up that I saw that symbol somewhere in the Potterton estate. Recently. Would but also that like I'm you... not revealing that fact. I think that's probably what you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it like recently, like as in like last, like your like recent recent. Yeah. Something slips about the timing and that the only place would be the Potterton. And why would you hide that if you were... But like I'm if you found the fact it, that yeah. I've seen it, yeah. But you do seem interested in finding out more about the symbols with the group, but that's that, yeah, mm. it's, there's a few levels here. Conveniently, I think I also at the you know oh it was the same place uh, you know I, the, we my sort of uh, like uh, I, I I might actually dart forward to join uh, uh, Miss Emma uh, for a second yeah, yeah it's uh, Jenny also as, as someone of a similar um, uh, social standing to 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 catch up the I had to lie for you thing yeah 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 I think I I will turn to Miss Radcliffe and I will say please forgive my. Uh... I'm a show. She is under a lot of stress. It is the uh, coming up on the anniversary of her sister's death. Squishing. Which, uh, was quite violent. I was uh, there for it. It's very unpleasant. You... Quite all right. We're all in a situation and we I... don't fully understand or appreciate and, and, and tensions Miss Radcliffe, high. Emma's sister was turned to paste in a strange land. Dark black flooring, acre-like trees, and monsters that didn't have heads, strange faces. Sounds very similar to what you were describing. You seem like an intelligent woman, perhaps a little more intelligent than you've been letting on. I am not going to ask you to reveal anything if you are not comfortable doing so, but I would 
like to know who you are, what you know, eventually, when you are ready to share, in mind that the lives of many people may rest on your honesty. Please meditate like... on that. Please meditate on that, Miss Radcliffe. Don't think... You don't strike me as a woman who wants blood on your hands. Do you have a guilt trip roll as a reverend? <laughs> is, that what you, is that what you're rolling here? Um, what's the... What's I the... Be, what's the psychoanalysis the equivalent? The is purely just... I'm not necessarily casting aspersions on, like, on your status, but I'm yeah. saying you're lying. I know you're lying. People are going to die. I have mm. seen it. Mm. And if you keep lying, more people are going to be hurt. That's all. I'm also, like, I think there there is a level of... with the, like... I'm not a, like tell me when you're ready. Yeah, the yeah, reverend, yeah, I got that. I got the that. reverend is a like, although it's it's not specifically, it's more of a Catholic thing. The mm. idea of people coming to the reverend to say things in confidence, yeah, to admit certain sins, he's kind of presenting that as a you're not being truthful. Yeah. I mm. would. It's important you're truthful. You can be truthful with me, and it not necessarily. Of course, he doesn't know what it is you're hiding, but like the implication is, it wouldn't go any further than like him mm. because that's a that's a confidence thing. So it's almost it is, like reassure. It's almost your your reassure role, isn't it? It's it's a little <laughs> like bit you, of guilt it's trip. It's a little me. bit of of like persuade. It's a little bit of reassure. It's it's everything rolled into one. It's the Reverend yeah. being like, I am a safe person to talk to. But you need to realise that what you're doing is lying about a situation that has actual life and death consequences, and this is... I think... All, yeah. yeah. Roger That's, that. Does that help with angle? Oh, I don't no, know if I, I need a roll for that. I know, I know what you're saying. I'm picking yeah. up what you're putting down. Don't and I'm worry. very happy to, like... I don't think I... I'm... I don't feel like there's a role necessary because I feel like that's very much like an in-character decision yeah. for you. Like what, no, what goes fine. next? What happens next? I, I'll put down. I, I, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I understand the situation and the, the delicacy of what uh, of the response it requires. Um, so I, 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 I just like to say again. I, I think, I think. Where the people fell ill, we will find that symbol near their homes or in about their homes. That is, that is in all honesty with the theory I'd like to put forward. Are you suggesting, Miss Radcliffe, that we may find this symbol around where? Are you suggesting, Miss Radcliffe, that we might find this symbol nearby the Potterton estate? I, I suppose it's possible. Then perhaps we should uh, take a further look at that. Thank you. Mm. I will. Uh, thank you. That is. That is helpful. Yeah, it's helpful for you. <laughs> and I gotta figure out another way to stop those kids getting kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I want to sort of like whatever the end. Of, I don't think we need to necessarily role play the whole thing, but the end of the conversation is if you have more you want to share. My door is always open. Noted with thanks. And, like, I think... Do I get any vibe from you at all that some of what you are hiding is for your own safety? With the extreme psychology. Like, is there any oh, fear yeah. about, like, letting something slip? Oh, do I Do yeah. I get any fear underneath? No. No. Because what I'm worried about here is uh, y'all finding out that I was sneaking around out in the dark. I don't have any fear. But there is also. You're, finding you're, that out. you're but, but the reason why you're sneaking around is because you're trying to protect the youngest Podgetons at this point to a level. And because you are possibly a little bit concerned about the ramifications from your brother. 
Uh, there is a bit of if I tell you if, if I tell you and help you with this case, people get hurt. But there's a separate thing happening where people will also yeah, get yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah. So I'm well, straddling yeah, those it. lines at the moment. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But so it's like, like okay, we, you, you get the sense that okay, I've given that up. Now I'm gonna have to work to find you know something else. Like I don't think it's like direct fear. There's concern right now, but there's concern. Mm, yeah. yeah. If if I read concern, then the like my door is open comes with no matter what the ramific or essentially no matter what the situation is, I will do my best to help you. As a as a like kind of I deal with people who who sinned and maybe who did some bad things like steal and stuff like that, and it doesn't necessarily mean you turn them over to the authorities, it means you help. Straight to jail. Yeah, much of that. All right. Um, the two of you can gather up with the others, and uh, as we leave this session, with you heading in towards Tarryford and possibly onward to the North Lake Estate, uh, I want to just mention one thing that uh, got mentioned by the Reverend during that discussion. That is actually something that Emma is aware of. Uh, the place you went to had a lot of similarities. The ground was the same to where you were with the mm -hmm. Dark Realm. Yep. One, the the monster that was there seemed different, and the trees did too. The trees. Those yeah. weren't there previously. And Emma, as you step away and kind of go into your own head and think back for it, that dark ichor was erupting forth from the ground yeah. as if it was escaping from something below, and you can't help but shake that this is all the worse for it. Um, it, it it had all the the it had a lot of the features of the realm from last time, but somehow worse Good. so like something's infecting that yeah. realm possibly, possibly. Mm -hmm. we'll just have to find out next time uh, that is where we are going to park this session so thank you all <laughs> for playing and thank you everyone for tuning in uh, we will be back here in the Getting same real. time and place next week so do join us there and we will see you soon thank have you a good everybody. one wait <laughs>